Right, so good afternoon everyone, better late than never, it's Chelmsford City against Bath this afternoon in about five minutes time. Uh, I'm Ben Parks, joining me is Emma Russian for the commentary today and uh, let's see if we've got time, we'll play an interview uh, with uh, Robbie Simpson that we uh, played, I um, caught up with him on the phone before the game this afternoon. So, uh, hello everyone, welcome uh, to Clarets TV. I've got the uh, Clarets manager, Robbie Simpson, on, on the phone today. Robbie, um, let's have a look at the team line that you've selected for this afternoon's game. And uh, we've got uh, Anthony Church back in the lineup, but I think that's the only the only change we've we've got today. And uh, Elliot Ward's back in and as Elliot well. Elliot Ward's back from injuries as well. As yeah, great. so two, two big experienced players for us there, really. And, um, we're really pleased to have them back because they... They do just bring something to the side um, that I think you, you probably saw was just missing against Havant. Uh, I've mentioned the performance against Havant was was actually really good and it, it, the result didn't reflect the performance. But I feel like just with that bit of experience uh, and strength that Wardy and Churchy bring, it was, uh, it was key to bring those two back in today. OK. And we've also um, we've got Phil Roberts back on the bench after his suspension as well. Uh, it was another another plus point on the, on the bench there. Yeah, good to have him back. And I, I have to say, actually, we we had a phone call after we were sending off um, about not only performances but but attitude because um, attitude is is massive for me, and I believe it's it's massive for the club and the way we want to go and bringing the youth through. You know, first team players have to really set an example attitude wise. So we had a we had a really good phone call after that sending off and. Um, I have to say, since 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 we spoke uh, that time, he's been he's been a real leader in training um, and and away from the pitch. And yeah, we, I'm really pleased to have him have him back have him back today. He's um, he seems to have taken what what we spoke about on board and and more uh, and more because he's he's become a leader, um, which is which is vital. Okay. Um, both sides coming into it not in uh, the greatest of form. Um, Bath bottom of the league, and we've lost uh, four in a row. So, uh, do you think it might be a bit of a, of a scrappy game with both teams sort of desperate for the points today? Um, I actually think the opposite. I think that Bath are a very, very good football side, and you know, before the season started, I uh, looked at the way they played last year and the players they had, and then the players they added this year, and I know a few of them and. I know the budget they've got. It's it's one of one of the top budgets in the league, and I think that they're a very very good uh, good football side. And I don't think their league position reflects the team that they are. And I think the same for us. I think that uh, results haven't reflected performances. I think we're we're a developing football side, but we're playing really really good football at times. Um, we've got a bit of naivety about us, but I feel like we're one of the best footballing sides in the league. And, I certainly feel that of Bath as well. So I think you'll actually see um, see whether the pitch holds up, but I actually think you'll see a really good football match today for this level. Yeah, they've got quite a lot of players on loan from sort of uh, the southwest professional clubs like Bristol City and Exeter. So they're going to be well trained yeah. and well, uh, have a good yeah, upbringing absolutely. from those clubs. Yeah, and I think if you look at the programme today where it's got a little section where you can see where all of their players started their careers and all of them are from sort of southwest, big southwest football league or even Premier League clubs. So they've got good pedigree in their side and like I said, they've got a really big budget and they, and they play really good football and I, and I think they're in a false position in the league, absolutely. And there's a player that you've played with a couple of clubs, MK Dons and Exeter, Ryan Harley in there so as well. So yeah, he's so one they, of their more experienced they, heads. Absolutely, they signed him uh, from from MK Dons this summer, and um, they've also got Lloyd James, who I played at Exeter and at Leighton Orient with, uh, who's a very good footballer. Although he hasn't been getting much game time for them for some reason. Ryan Harley is is an exceptional football player. Technically, everyone who plays with him says that he's the most technically gifted player they they played with. So we're going to have to nullify him today because if he gets a chance to to run the game, then we're going to be in trouble. So we're going to have to stick tight to him and, and not let him dictate the, the tempo of the game. OK, Robbie, it sounds like a, a tough test today, but we're confident in the result and uh, good luck for today's game. Yeah, thanks a lot and I hope all you fans enjoy it. Thank you, Robbie. So, uh, hello, everyone.
So there we go. We caught up with the thoughts of Robbie Simpson there before the game and the teams are out on the pitch. As you can see by the rain spattered uh, camera, it's a bit not great conditions out there, Emma. No, <laughs> it does look a little bit wetter than predicted, but um, personally, I prefer playing in, in the rain when it comes to football, so it doesn't bother me. And uh, these are the te- team lineups, by the way. You saw the Chelmsford team, but Bath are Ryan Clark in goal, James Taylor, Tom Smith, Jack Batten, Frankie Artis, Donovan Wilson, Ryan Harley, Lloyd James. Tommy Conway, Will Dean and Grant Horton. Their subs, Tom Richards, Will Henry, Jason Pope, Callum Watts and Lucas Tomlinson. And Chelmsford, as we saw, they're just about to kick off. Lee Wargan in goal, Anthony Church, Cameron James, Danny Imray, Dylan Asongany, Charlie Sheringham, Adam Morgan, Adi Aluwo, Ches Isaac, Callum Harrison, Elliot Ward. And the subs, Barry Cotter, Cole Kapekawa, Tom Ray, Phil Roberts and Billy Crook. Bill Roberts back from a two-game ban. We thought it was only going to be one game because uh, he only picked up a second yellow, but it was actually his second red card of the season, so they added another game onto the ban because uh, he got one when he was playing for Brentwood before he signed for us. So Chelmsford are just about to kick off. Oh, and we're going to take the knee here. It's good to see that. As I saw uh, Anthony Church was interviewed on Chelmsford Community Radio. It was suggested. And there's the start of the game and chumps a kick off. And Elliot Ward back in the side hammers a long ball forward. Flicked on there by Sheringham. Bath clear. And Elliot Ward back in the side hammers a long ball forward. And they're in the midfield here. Oh, chumps are having to go back there. And uh, yeah, two sides not in the best of form, Emma, with the Bath bottom of the league. I've seen, yeah. And we've lost four in a row, so. Do you reckon it might be? Robbie said it was going to be a good game, but I think it might be a bit of a scrap. That's what I'm expecting, but I think sometimes when the game is scrappy, it can be a bit of an end to end game, which for spectators actually makes it a better game. So, but I think even if Bath are bottom, they're definitely not a team to underestimate because we obviously have just seen the kind of talent that they do have. So, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, a, a City win as well. There's Imray down the right trying to get past the left back there for Bath. Church trying to head it down. And a free kick given away there by Harley, the uh, former teammate of Robbie at uh, Exeter and MK Dons. They signed on the same day for MK Dons from Exeter. So Paul Tisdale took him both with him when he moved to MK Dons. Oh, good move from Bath down the right-hand side. We've got Tom Smith in the box there, but the cross is way over hit from the right wing. Yeah, not really sure where that one was going. Yeah. <laughs> Great to see fans in the ground as well, just spotting a few of them around. Obviously oh, the... Uh, it must be so nice for them to be able to come back and watch the football live as well, even though it's limited. It's, it's a start, hopefully, yep. for things to come. So. And obviously, you know, certain... Um, age groups of people especially are, are still not yeah. maybe able to uh, sort of come out outside and yeah. do this game or they might not wish to so uh, it's uh, it's up to you uh, if you come but uh, thanks to all those who have come today and uh, hopefully it can uh, provide a bit of atmosphere because I think maybe sort of when we've been one nil down late on <laughs> it gets that sort of extra oomph that the uh, yeah, I think home crowd can give you Kind of like a bit of perfect timing, isn't it, really? Even though the capacity is a lot smaller, I think, sort of I think it's quite nice. Yeah. I think it's what City needs. Maybe. And it's, it's like a little bit of a boost. The first time the fans have seen a lot of these players as well play in a Chelsea shirt. So, But you can see there's quite a few uh, in the covered row row there. The first time the fans have seen a lot of these players as well. Yeah, I think that's probably one of the popular. Shirt, so. It's a bit closer, isn't yeah. it? <laughs> it's a good selection end. if you got in there. That sold out first, yeah. that end, because obviously with the weather... Today it wasn't forecast to be this bad rain. I think it was. It was no. going to come. Unfortunately, I think your game might be a bit <laughs> wet yeah. tomorrow. So we're uh, we're expecting now. It's now it's rain today. That's we are fully expecting that. But um, I'll be commentating women's game tomorrow. So not still not a hundred percent fit myself. So oh right, okay. Unfortunately. Yeah, so that'll be uh, streamed live tomorrow. I think on YouTube as well. The uh, Chelmsford City ladies against Rayleigh. With a kickoff at two o'clock, as your That's league yeah, season tomorrow. resumes. Yeah, probably looking at the last game for us. So. 
two o'clock. Obviously, your league season resumes. Yeah, we're second in the league, so um, keep it's early days, obviously, but promotion is what we're we're aiming for. So we've had a good start to the season. A few early, uh, there's no other ga- goals in the league so far. Two games were called off due to squads picking up uh, COVID no issues. Hampton Richmond had to so call off their game, game against Slough and uh, Maidstone are still in isolation as well. Their game against Braintree off today. Um, no other goals in the games today so far. Ebbsfleet against Haven. That's uh, a tasty looking fixture there. Two of the uh, pre-season favourites. Callum Harrison giving away a free kick there. I think that was a bit soft. On uh, Artis. Back in the side today. He was on the bench on Tuesday. He was a teammate of Anthony Church at Grimsby. Some years ago, Anthony Church was talking about his time at Grimsby on uh, Champs Community Radio. Fact knowledge never ceases. He said it's not somewhere he's wanted to go back to. <laughs> he said it's not somewhere I've wanted to go back to after he left. So, uh, But it was uh, he, he got the opportunity to play league football there. <laughs> Good start from Bath in the opening five minutes here. Lloyd James, very experienced midfield player there, knocking it up. But Danny Imray comes away on the interception. Playing it in the middle. Harrison just crowded out there. There's Harley. Yeah, like you said, it just seems a little bit scrappy at the moment. Oh, good move there. Tom Smith trying to find oh, a good inception by Danny Imray. They've knocked it out here to... That's uh, James Taylor playing left back there. Chip down the line. Imray with a header. There's Smith. Artis on the edge of the box. Not a regular goal scorer. Turned down the shot and he got closed out. And uh, Chumps are trying to come away with it. Trying to hit the long ball down the right-hand side. There's uh, looking for Charlie Sharing in there, but it's gone out of play for a throw-in. Couldn't quite get onto it. Wolves nil, Aston Villa 1. was the early result in the Premier League. Both sides finishing with 10 men. And Newcastle beat West, uh, a leading West Brom uh, in the 3 o'clock kickoff. An early goal there. Despite the fact that Steve Bruce was saying all their players were out because they've had COVID in their, in their training ground. So. But... Uh, Laid out a play by Bath. That's an opportunity for Chelsea with a throw in. Imray. Both sides sort of uh, surprising that they're with they're where they are. Bath have finished in the top ten the last four years. They were fourth when the season ended last year. They haven't really changed the team very much though. So. Amazing how quick things like that can change though. You know. They haven't really changed the team. I think they've had a lot of injuries. Dan Ball was injured on Tuesday. He's one of their longest serving players. And a lot of loan a lot of loan players this season. Maybe they haven't been able to find the the team ethic when they've had a lot of loan players in. And a lot of loan well, yeah, if you've got a lot of loan players, players this season, you know, maybe it's difficult to gel to and play together because it's one in, one out. Had a lot of loan it's not always in. easy if you've got too many. Yeah. And they had to sign more loan players because some of the loan players got injured. So they've in <laughs> ended up getting... They had this six. really didn't go very well, did no, it? No, <laughs> they had six loan players on the books. You're only allowed to have five in the squad on a match day squad, so some have missed out. But one of the loan players, Tom Mayhew, was sent off last Saturday, so he's suspended today. On a match day squad, so some mainly on loan from Bristol City and Exeter, players, there loan players. It's almost like they just seem to be need to rebuild. Yeah, if that makes sense. Well, they've got quite a bit of experience. The goalkeepers, thirty-eight: Ryan Clark, Ryan Harley, and Lloyd James in midfield, both in the mid thirties as well. Down the left-hand side. I'm glad you said experience and not old. <laughs> <laughs> Corner, oh, for, corner Bath. for Bath. There's their top scorer, Donovan Wilson, has uh, won it. Yeah, I think City just need to get the ball. Just keep the ball. They just need to keep possession of the ball and bide their time. Just it is, like you said, it is a little bit scrappy at the moment. Corner for Bath, though. Chumps had... Oh, it's taken short. In the penalty area. Knocked to the edge of it. And a good sliding That's tackle cool. from Harrison gets it away there. But all the way out to Taylor. Taylor hits it long down the right, headed down. 
Up down the right-hand side for Bath, but uh, there's Cameron James. I can play on left back today. Another change in position for Cameron James. He's not the Swiss Army knife or the sort of uh, <laughs> Chelsea James <Chameleon> Milner. <laughs> oh, that was a poor pass given away, and it's, I want to give Tom Smith the ball. He's kept possession well. They're keeping possession well, but that, oh, just as I said that, they've given it away. <laughs> that was Will Dean passing out of play. He's on low from Exeter. But yeah, Bath seem to be well, slightly more in control of this game at the moment. That was Will Dean passing out of play. He's on a couple of early goals. Concord leading Eastbourne by a goal to nil. And Tunbridge, a one-up away, undefeated St Albans. But it's, it seems a bit of a weird league. He's given that today. A free kick to Bath. Undefeated St Albans. It seems a bit of a weird league today. This uh, referee has uh, refereed us once last year, and he did book five players in the first half. So, <laughs> wow. <laughs> he uh, <laughs> and he ended up sent. He was against Dorking last year when we lost two 0 there. One of Robbie's very early games in charge. Another game where absolutely hammered down with rain the whole day. So he's brought the weather with him today. I think yeah, uh, Isaac Sell. <laughs> I think this is Harley over the free kick. Let's see what they can do here. This is Harley over the free kick. It's not a bad ball in. Oh, it's bouncing around. Oh, and oh, off the line, oh, and he's he's given I it. I think he's what, given that. What a defensive horror show from Chelmsford. It seemed to be an own goal. Chez Isaac, maybe, I think, was the scorer. I know all our scorer. opinions are our own, as they say, but I think the keeper should have probably come and claimed that. Yeah, Lee Wargan has been great all year, but what was that all about in the defence from Chelmsford there? A real defensive calamity. And uh, a goal in the 11th minute for Bath. Yeah, it's just one of those freak incidents, isn't it? <laughs> just shaking a head I think it pinged off of three different people before it went in for an own goal. And then he's it's gone over the line as well. Yeah. Crazy goal. Shaking a head I think it pinged off of three different people before it went in. Also, I think it just chumps just seem to they just need to settle. Settle on the ball, keep the possession. There's no reason why they shouldn't be winning today's game. Great touch. And the ball brings it down. Isaac goes back here. Church. Oh, Walu over the dodgy pass out to Imre. Imre's going to go back to Wargan there, who clears downfield. And push in the back. Yeah, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie showing him going down. Charlie. Down the right side. That's. Knocked out of play by much Smith. Much better, much better. They've got possession of the ball, they're passing it. Down the right-hand side, high ball in the box from Morgan. That's allowed Bath to break. That's a great tackle. Down the right-hand side, high ball in the box from Morgan. He's up in the midfield, at crossfield ball. He's looking for Adam Morgan down the right-hand side. Oh, sorry, no, it's, uh, yeah, is it Morgan? In the penalty area, back heel. Oh, lovely. Cross from oh, and headed in. Oh, it's a goal. Diving oh. header from Sherringham. The cross from Isaac. And That's the right end, boys. An immediate response from oh, Chelsea in the 13th minute, 1-1. Diving header from Sherringham. Lovely goal. The cross from Isaac. So that's what I mean. They, they reacted right. really well to that own goal. They could have put their heads down, but they kept the possession. One, one. They passed the ball. They in the penalty area. First real move we'd put together yeah, in exactly. the game, and it's, oh, and it's resulted in. in a goal. Exactly. This could be... Four all, maybe, at the end of it. It's <laughs> both defences can't really... <laughs> don't look like they're going to keep many out today. One attack each, and it's a one goal each, and Chelmsford oh, basically have scored both goals here. Well, yeah, <laughs> the first goal... Was much better. It's simple play. Possession, pass the ball, bide your time. Both goals here. Simple. <laughs> Another game. Much better. I'm shocked that we scored. That's the first goal we've scored. At, um, only the second goal we've scored in the first half this season. <laughs> well, hopefully many more to come. Adam Morgan's goal against Oxford in the first league game was the only other um, first league game at home was the only other goal. 
Yeah, Chez Isaac with the own goal and then Chez Isaac with the assist. So, uh, fantasy. <laughs> if, you had, if you were doing fantasy football on Chez Isaac. multi Yeah. with the own goal and then Chez Isaac with the assist. So, fantasy. Obviously, it's, great to, it's great to see them bounce back with a goal so quickly. Yeah. Chess has uh, needed, obviously thought, I've got to pull my team out of, the, of a hole here when uh, 1-0 down at home to the bottom of the league side. Has, uh, yeah, it's needed, not what you want. Obviously thought, I've got to pull and a great header from Sheringham. Two goals he scored in two games. So the two, two, the two headers, side. two different headers. One a sort of standard one from a corner. That one a sort of stooping one. Two goals he scored in two games. So Harrison. And he's got chopped there late. Yeah, I think he's going to get back. He's got the free kick. And one from a corner. That one sort of stooping one. Harrison. And he's got chopped there late. Yeah, I think he's going to get back. He's got the free kick. Which a bit of a change in formation today with a four at the back for Chelmsford. Cameron James moving to left back. Played a five down at Haven. That didn't really work with the wing backs. Change in formation today with a four at the back. A little bit overrun. Cameron James moving down one back. side. Harrison picks it up on the edge of the box. Church, maybe. Elliot Ward stumbled there. A little bit overrun. Cameron James fighting up against Conway. Up in the edge of the box. Oh, lovely ball down the left-hand side. Harrison, can he get there before it goes out? No, he slides out of play. Up He's gone out for a goal kick. 1-1 one, one, one here in the 15th minute. It's been an interesting uh, first 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of those footballing bloopers own goals from Chelmsford. Kicking it against each other after a set piece wasn't cleared, and <laughs> a nice move for our equaliser. It was just a it against each other it was unusual own goal. <laughs> it was like ping pong. We've had to work hard for our, our goal, but we've given them a bit of a we've given Bath a little bit of a sloppy one. Sheringham lays it off. There's Church. Imre pokes it down the line. A bit late on him was Taylor. Oh, there's another late tackle, yeah, this time from Jack Batten on Charlie Sheringham, who's definitely put himself about there. St Albans have equalised against Tunbridge. It's another set piece for Chelmsford City, another opportunity. Concord winning, who are second bottom at the moment. So they're another team you wouldn't really expect to be down the bottom of the league. With, uh, I suppose the start that Hungerford made was quite a surprise. they Maybe you would expect them to be struggling, but they're in the playoffs at the moment. So we've got Morgan and Harrison over the free kick. Maybe you would expect them to be struggling, but they're in the playoffs at the moment. Morgan leaves it. Harrison with the outswinger. Aluwo. Oh, it's just behind. Just a little bit behind the players making their runs. Anthony Church is going to leave it to go out for a throw in. The uh, both sides have been interested in this because we're playing each other on Tuesday in the FA Trophy. The uh, if we, whoever gets through in the third round, the that fixture is playing today. Swindon Supermarine against Cusholton. Oh, good cross comes in, but headed away. By Batten. Tom Smith push, <laughs> pushes away, sharing them there. I don't know how that wasn't a free kick. Imray. I think the ref played advantage because we had possession, but yeah, that was... Uh, I couldn't get much obvious, really. Shank clearance from Maluwo, but he gets it away at the second time. Headed down by Morgan. And it's out for a throw-in. Yeah, Swindon, Supermarine and Cusholton. One, one of us, or Bath, will be playing them at home next Saturday. That's nil-nil at the moment. Straight to penalties after 90 minutes in the, ex in the FA Trophy, if it's a draw. That will be the no extra time, is there? No, only the final. I looked it up I wasn't sure. It's only the final. It goes to extra time. They haven't even played the final of the FA Trophy from last season yet, so... Uh, Crazy. Concord Rangers are in it against Harrogate, who are, aren't even eligible now because they got promoted to the Football League. So. <laughs> <laughs> it has been a crazy year. Harrogate, FA Vars final, not been played yet. So. That was supposed to be on. They're supposed to be on the same day. Harley over the free kick. Caused the confusion with the first set piece headed away by Lou. Where that time. Headed forward by Artis. Morgan with the left foot ball down the line. He's got good technical ability, Artis. Callum Harrison. Morgan with the left foot ball down Just the he's line. getting used to sort of the physicality of the National League South because he stepped up from he's got good a couple of leagues below. All right, okay. This be a North who was known for Sudbury he's last year. Used to sort of the physicality of the National League South because he stepped up from. It's like him and Teniola. They were both. Um, it's me a North. 
playing a couple of leagues below, so they've it's quite a quite a big step up from playing for Haybridge and Sudbury to playing for Chelsea City. Playing a couple of leagues below, so they've. Yeah, Haybridge is yeah, it's too below, up. isn't yeah. it? Haybridge Swifts, yeah. Playing for Haybridge and, and my brother used to play for them Chelsea. many years ago as a teenager. We've got a good relationship with them. We've got a couple of players out on dual registration there. Andy Fennell and Jacob Marsden, the reserve goalkeeper. We've got a good relationship with them. We've got a couple of players out on dual registration there. Andy Fennell and Jacob Marsden. So 1-1 one, one here at the uh, EMG Inspire Stadium. Get the spons- new sponsor's name in. I haven't mentioned that so far. I like the name. Yeah. It's good. So Thanks to Spencer Gore EMG of EMG Inspire and Kids Inspire. Get the spons- the two sponsors. sponsors. Name in. I haven't mentioned that so far. I like the name. Yeah. It's good. Thanks to Spencer Gore of EMG and Kids Inspire. Ended the way there. Well, I don't on. think that was a foul. I think he just slipped. Yeah. Cheers, eyes. It's got it though. He <laughs> sort of fell over into the bath play, and the referee's given us we'll the free kick it. there. I don't think that was a foul. Ward hammers it forward. Headed away though by Cheers Bath. It's got it though. Great he ball. Sort of fell over into the bath play, and the referee's given us we'll the free kick it. there. It Ward hammers it's it gone out for a throw into to Bath. bath. It was Aslan Ganyi couldn't quite keep it in play. Yeah, we just need to keep possession a little bit more. It's not hitting hope as such, bar. but those, those last passes are quite being executed. There's another wrestling <laughs> match going on there. <laughs> which the referee this time has given the free kick to Bath. And Elliot Ward's falling into him this no time. No social distancing on the pitch today. Didn't look, didn't look any different <laughs> from the previous free <laughs> kick that we <laughs> gained. No, true. Elliot Ward's falling into him this time. No social coming out of defence of Bath. Gainsman. Well, it's not a bad ball. Good crossfield ball out to the right. This is Conway. Oh, well tackled though Bath. by Cameron James. It's a great tackle. He's ball. running down the left hand side. He's trying. Right. Oh, good ball down the line. Asson Gagne. Oh, Defender's well just going to get round there though. Cameron James. Horton. And Bath well work well it away, read. but they've given well it. Good ball down Harrison line. out to Adam Morgan, and he cut him field onto his. Left foot, he's going to try it, and deflection. it's yeah, just oh, deflection took the pace out of it. And Ryan Clark, it's good though. It's, it's, you know, it's, it's nice to see City a bit of a buzz in them and attacking and just being positive going forward with the ball. Ryan Clark. Yeah, I think we've done the best when we've got Morgan and Asson Gagne involved as two wide, wide forwards. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think we've done well, the, the best. Well, the goal came from across from out wide, didn't it? So yeah, Asson Gagne involved. Added it as a crossfield ball. Adam Morgan laid it back to him. Ches Isaac with the assist. Chez hasn't scored for a couple of years, but if he keeps <laughs> Mar- March 2019, I think. <laughs> but uh, I don't think he'll thank you for that fact. <laughs> I've, I've had it on my stats sheet for the whole season, so I'm hoping I can delete it off there. And <laughs> but, uh, I don't think he'll thank you for that fact. Bath working away in tight areas there. The and that was a little bit late. I can delete it off there and late free kick given away by Adam Morgan. And, uh, away and he normally does work yeah. himself into the book at some point in the game, Adam. <laughs> Kick, Whether it's for uh, complaining, and, uh, he normally does work himself into the book at some point. The problem is with the Scouse accent; he, he does stick out a bit in the crowd, <laughs> playing in the National League South. There aren't there many other Scouse accents around. The problem is with Not the Scouse so accent, much down here. He no, does stick out a bit in the crowd, <laughs> playing in the National League South. There aren't there many other Scouse accents around. The camera seems to have much cleared up a little bit now as well. Yeah, it looks like the rain has uh, a little bit stopped better. a bit. Bath won it back. That was Conway. Uh, they're trying to find uh, Harley out on the right wing, but he's been flagged back. offside. That was Conway. Referee, referee's assistants Conway Mark uh, Chalkley and right Tom right Harvey today. Flagged offside. Conway. Referee, referee's assistants Mark Chalkley and Tom Harvey today. Morgan with the free kick down the line, headed on. Oh, thumped in the back there was Harrison, but he doesn't get the free kick that time. Cleared away by Bath. Free kick down the line, headed on. Looking for the run here. Got Smith again making a run into the penalty box. And he's just run out of play there, the striker from Bath. I think that was Conway. Um, Smith again making a run into the penalty box. That was Wilson, I think, yeah, the centre forward, number nine, with the, with the run. I think that was Conway. Um, the orange boots. Sure that was Wilson, I think. Yeah, the centre forward. Number yeah, nine. he's actually in a second top score with four. Conway's got five. Smith orange has got boots. three. 
Yeah, he's actually in a second top score with four. Conway's got five. Smith has got three. Arnie. Taylor knocking it through, but uh, offside. Wilson offside that time. Arnie. Taylor knocking it through, but the uh, manager there, Jerry Gill, way out of his uh, technical area there, walking his, working his way down the side. <laughs> the manager there, Jerry Gill, way been out in of charge his, uh, since uh, October 2017. <laughs> and she played for Bath uh, between 1990 and 1996. <laughs> Over 2017. Oh, a header on by James Conway in the area here. Oh, into the side netting. And like it's he probably should have done better with that. Well, it must have been a save because the referee's given it a corner from Lee Wargan. Oh, into the side netting. Cameron James got underneath the ball and just flicked it on for Conway to run onto it. Netting. Conway in the area here. Another one of their loan players. He's on from loan from Bristol City. I don't know how much of a touch he got on that because it really didn't look like it looked like he just put it into the side netting from here. But short corner to James with the cross in the box headed away, back out to Harley. Oh, sold Harrison down the river there, and again, second no, it's a shot. Too much time on the ball. In comes the cross headed away by James, and a shot on the edge of the box. Oh, what a good finish that was from Donovan Wilson. Danny Imray Wait for a crowd of players to go into the net. Danny Imray didn't oh, intercept it as it came down, Wilson. and Wilson took full advantage, Danny and it's Imray two one to Bath to in the twenty fifth minute. Danny Imray Harrison Absolutely. down the yeah, river. I don't think they deserve the goal. I don't advantage. think they've. It's yeah, it's another they sort of well enough to score that another set sense. piece. The sort of bits and pieces of a set piece. It's been a bit of an Achilles heel all season. The sort of second phase of a set piece. It's another sort of. Set we haven't come out or we've not switched on to the to the ball. They had so many opportunities to cross that in bath. They finally yeah. had a good shot from Wilson from the edge of the box. Just that sense of urgency, isn't it, to when the ball goes out, to get out of the box and close them down as quick as possible. But it's difficult, you know. Players dive in. That's like you see when you've got him that turned him and was able to put a cross in. Yeah. It happens all the time. It's it's being able oh, to stand Cross field, Smith, left hand edge of the area, cutting in field, lays it back. Wilson, yeah, come on, that ball should not be going through. And that's oh, cleared away by Wargan in the end. Anthony Church with the back pass, cutting in field, lays it back. Wilson, come on, that ball. And uh, Sheringham looking for a free and kick there, but it's not come from the ref. Anthony Church with the back pass, cutting in field, lays it back. Wilson, and Sheringham looking for a free kick there, but it's not come from the ref. Back to Clark. Taking his time over that one. Clears it downfield. Headed away by Cameron James. It's a good header. Smashed away down the right hand side by Dean. Headed away by Cameron James. Conway in the area here. Oh, we the right Dean with the header in field. Oh, the area here. Oh, he's not a central midfielder, but he's having to play right back. Oh, into the side. And oh, Aluwo got that one right this time as Wilson had judged offside. And oh, Aluwo got that one right this time. Aluwo as Wilson oh. had judged offside. Callum Harrison with a mistake there. And now it's Tom Smith through here, wide on the left, cutting in field on Danny Imray. Still Smith back to the edge of the box. And a deflected there. effort there. Oh, no, he's just dragged it wide. I thought it was a deflection on it from Wilson's shot. But uh, just didn't get a good connection. He sort of scuffed oh, it's Tom it Smith wide. Bath are creating opportunities at will at the moment. I know, they seem and to have a effort there. ignited a fire in their belly since that, since that goal they scored. Uh, City just need to get the ball. They just, you know, straight after they scored that, straight after, you know, the own goal went in, they kept possession... Passing, and that's where the game came. That's where the goal came from. No, so and they br are in again here. This is Conway, and it's <sighs> three-one. Chelmsford are being absolutely torn apart here by Bath. No, and they br Bottom again. of the league what side. Conway, Conway uh, with the third in the twenty-eighth minute. Torn apart here by Bath. Oh, that's three go side. two goals in three minutes of Bath, and they could have scored Conway. about two in between as well. Conway, and it's three. 
This is Conway. Three goal, two goals. And, and it's 3-1. Chelsea yeah. about two so in between as well. Conway. You know. And it's, three and it's the two dangerous Conway. dangerous strikers. Conway, sixth goal of the season. Wilson's fifth goal of the season. Bath haven't struggled scoring goals this season. It's just keeping them out, which they've, they've had a trouble with. Wilson's fifth goal of the season. It's a good one to win from here, Emma. <laughs> they just need to keep possession. I think sometimes, I feel like sometimes with City, they, win from here, they're trying to Emma. force, almost force the goal, <laughs> if that makes sense. And just panicking a little bit. Yeah, a bit like that from Imre, just a long yeah. ball forward to Sheridan, which is... Just keep the ball. Keep the ball. Make Bath work for it. Keep the possession. Yeah, a bit like that from Imre, just a long keep ball the pressure on. to Sheridan. The eventually, the goal keep will come. The keep the ball. Make Bath work for it. Keep the possession. And just keep the pressure on. Chance of moving, moving from a five at the back. It didn't really work last week, but the four looks even more open. Like for me, I just they they play it. They're trying to play it into the striker's yeah, feet, but then they lose it. Yeah. Really but then straight well. away they're on the back foot again. So, like for me, it's if you keep doing the same thing and it's not working, change it, right? Yeah. Smith as well. He's just getting in front of the back four in the sort of number ten role. Even though he's got the number four on his back. Smith. But definitely, well, a three-one down, you're going to be feeling the pressure as a player to want to play forward and want to push forward. So, and I I get that. Yeah. It's, you know, I everyone that plays football feels the same way. Harrison but with the ball. They Bath. just need to keep the ball. Bath with a lot of players back, though. Harley picks it up. Yeah. And Bath now don't really need to come out now. They can sort of sit back and soak up a bit of pressure. Well, they're, they're bottom of the league, aren't they? So they're going to they're gonna come out wanting to win every single game. Especially if they you said they finished fourth last season. Yeah. So. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna come out fighting. Yeah. Just keep the ball. Keep the ball. There's Isaac. This is Church. He's been tackled there by Wilson. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> <laughs> There's Isaac. This is Church. Oh, Artis. Been tackled there by Wilson. I shouldn't have said anything. He's back here to Taylor. Artists. I mean, you can see that Bath have just kind of relaxed a bit now on the, on the ball. He's back here to Taylor. <laughs> I mean, you can see that Bath centre back batting with the ball forward up to Conway. Back here to Conway again. That's not a foul. Good finish, it was his <laughs> third goal actually. <laughs> Similar to the opportunity he had beforehand, which was saved out for the corner, which Conway caused the That's oh, a and great it slipped ball. through the middle. Sharon and pulled down. It's a free kick. Well, the referee's got a decision to make here on Horton. That was a great Whether he thought that could be a goal-scoring opportunity. And I think there's Elliot Ward and Aluwa are coming over to try and make the point that it might have been for Sheringham. Outside the penalty area, you can get a red card for a tackle like that. He just pulled him back by the shoulders. I think it'll be yeah, yeah, it's a yellow. I, I think it will be a yellow. I don't think it was malice enough for a, for a red tackle like that. He just pulled him back by the shoulders. Just a shame it wasn't a few yellow. yards I think further forward. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we can make the most of this set play. That would have made it an interesting game. Bath had gone down to 10 men with a 3-1 yeah. lead. Yeah. But, uh, and then a goal. That would have been lovely. Red card and Maybe goal. Would have made it an interesting game. some referees might have sent it off. <laughs> sent him off there, Horton. But uh, Sheridan probably was already on his way down. I think he sort of slipped over. And that was probably why he didn't. Because he was uh, already what down, they, he didn't. What is it they call it now? A tactical foul. Down, I think yeah. <laughs> <laughs> James, James is not here today. His uh, one. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that was a tactical <laughs> foul. I think he was pulled. Morgan, Morgan over seen the free quite kick. Quite a few people slip <laughs> already. So James is not here today. His uh, one. Yeah, I don't. I don't think that. Was Come on, City. Morgan over the free kick with the left foot. One. Oh, oh, is it the inside of the post and cleared away by Bar? <laughs> I get too excited, sorry. That's a great free kick. Post. Oh, and he knows it, look. He knows how close that was. And the goalkeeper's <laughs> down as well. <laughs> Ryan Clark. That's a great free kick. Oh, and he knows it. I didn't I didn't see what he did or what happened. Looks like he's uh, his shoulder or something. Not here today, he's uh, one. They do have a goalkeeper on the bench, which is an advantage for Bath. 
Morgan over the back to uh, his very experienced there. Captain oh. Ruck today, Ryan oh, Clark. Oh. Do have a goalkeeper on the bench. Come on, Sid. Morgan over the free kick with oh, the left foot. Oh, oh, he's at the inside of the post. Come on, Sid. Morgan over the free kick with the left foot. Oh, he's at the inside of the post and cleared away by... Look at the just seemed to... Just seemed to land awkwardly, didn't he? Oh, Look at the replay of the free kick on our other screen. It just seems that the keeper's landed awkwardly. Either his wrist or his, his it's his shoulder. They uh, yeah, said they do have another goalie on the bench. James Will Henry, Henry so uh, one. It's a possibility that uh, oh, he yeah, seems alright. He, might, yeah, he could come off if he wasn't. It's not as if he has to stay on, to sort of just stand there and be a goalkeeper. But uh, he's made a quick recovery. I want to test out that right hand of his, obviously, with the <laughs> if he's uh, slightly hurt his right wrist there. Thrown into Asan Ganyi, and that's uh, right from City hand corner. Hand that's coming off Lloyd James to the corner, former teammate of Robbie's at Orient. Thrown into Asan this is a bit better by City. Uh, Keeping the pressure on. Lloyd James to the corner, former teammate. I say it's, it's very easy at, at any level of football to panic when you're 3 1 down so early on. But you you just got to keep a cool head, it's keep the pressure on, keep the possession. Harrison with, Harrison with the corner. Oh. Header by Luwo just wide. So there's two opportunities for Chelmsford. He is too willing. To get back into it. <laughs> Harrison with the corner. Header by Luwo just wide. So there's Harrison with, uh, Harrison with the corner. Luwo hasn't oh. really shown Luwo just wide. a scoring back touch in the opposition box yet. But uh, surprises me with considering how tall he is. Yeah, he hasn't. He's not got over the headers. Is it like a like a Peter Crouch that could never head a ball? <laughs> Always baffles me how you can be that tall but never score with your head. <laughs> or very rarely score with your head. Yeah. I, say. I mean, Sharon was quite tall and he scored two headers. So yeah, that's quite. That's um. There's, this is the first time I've seen him play. So because obviously the first game was away. So yeah. Um, Sort of only listening into that, so ball over the top, looking for Asan Ganyi. Across comes Horton, he's on a book in and he clears away. And that's going to be a ball over the top. Yeah, I think it was just a shirt pull. Across comes foul by Asan Ganyi. Clears away. And that's going to be a ball over the top. Yeah, I think it was just a shirt pull. Foul by Asan Ganyi. I think it's just a shirt pull. Nothing, nothing to uh, to an offence. Keeper's going to take his time with this one as well. You'd think we're in the 89th minute. He's going to take his time with this one as well. <laughs> the amount of time he's taking to take this free free kick. Two quick goals I haven't. They're two up at Ebbsfleet. <laughs> Morgan with the ball over the top. Flick on. Free kick. Two quick goals I haven't. They're two up. Cross comes Batten, and. That's not a foul. Really? Shoved in the back by mm, Sharingham. I'm not really sure about that. Cross comes Batten. I could be wrong, but from, from our screen and my oh angle oh yeah, of looking at it, it I think he went down a little bit too easily there. Cross comes Batten. I could be wrong, but from, from our screen and my angle oh yeah, of looking at it, it, I think you could see that by the reaction of the City players. Chaz Isaac having a word with the referee about something there. Isaac having a word with the referee. Oh. Ryan Clark with the free kick for Bath. It's a little bit chilly in here today, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Ryan Clark with the free kick for Bath. The Luwe with the clearance. A little bit chilly in here today. Harrison <laughs> goes back here. That's Ryan Clark with the free kick. Chip down the right hand side. The Luwe with the clearance. A bit chilly in here today. Harrison <laughs> goes back here. That's well played by Chip Bath. Down right Knocked down the line by Taylor. Wilson running across to Luwo here. And Luwo sticks covered. it out for a throw in. Well played by Bath. The right They're still having a moan to the ref. I'm not really Wilson sure what for. But Luwo here. Luwo sticks it out for a throw in. He's not happy, is he? They're still having a moan to the ref. I'm not really sure what for. But the goals today, an own goal by Ches Isaac was the opener after 11 minutes to Bath. Charlie Sheridan equalised a couple of minutes later. Good header. Then Donovan Wilson with a goal and strike from the edge of the box well. after the free kick. A corner Charlie wasn't cleared, and then Tommy Conway set free down the right and scored the third goal in the 28th minute. 
strikes on the edge of the box after the free kick. That both sides have had numerous other chances. Champs have had the right and scored hit the post of the free kick. Minute. Header over the bar from Malubo. They've had a Conway had another chance down the right. Smith had a couple of runs. The Bath as well. Themselves in good positions. It definitely has, like we said at the start, been that kind of end-to-end game, hasn't it? It's like yeah. you know, you get. City will play five minutes of good football, and then all of a sudden it's Bath that are playing five minutes oh, of good football. Chip forward, Harrison just can't quite got the end of that yeah. long ball, goes out for a goal kick. It's, it's been quite an interesting game, other than the fact the scoreline oh, is the ball. Chip forward, around. Harrison just can't quite got the end of that long ball, goes out for a goal kick. The last time Champs had lost five games in a row was 2013, so it's been some time. <laughs> Is this the fifth game? Yeah. Let's make sure we win then. Yeah. <laughs> Bath and Champs have been regular <laughs> opponents. The yeah. 90th game <laughs> between each other. Oh. First one was 1938, which was Champs of <laughs> City's <laughs> first ga- uh, third game. The 90th game. That's game as Champs of City. Champs, Champs of FC formed in about 1870 odd, but uh, didn't really play. Ga- uh, third game. In league football until the 30s. Formed in, about 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, in 1938. Not good timing. Just one year and they played and then the war started. <laughs> <laughs> Imre set free down the right, cleared away. Formed in 1938. Yeah, not so. I mean, I watched Daddy play in, um, the, in like, the youth games. <laughs> Imre set free well. down the right, cleared away. Get, get forward a lot more. Yeah. Um, he seems to have been a bit more, more, more oh, restricted. Good throw, but headed game. away. And that was Artis coming back to head it away for a corner. I don't, know if it, yeah. I don't know if it might be nice to see him getting forward a little bit more, or whether that's oh, a tactical throw, decision yeah. Yeah. not to. And that was artist coming back to head it so any time I've watched him play, I'm so used to seeing him nice sort of pelting forward down the wing, but he seems yeah. to be a bit more restricted today. Morgan is going to have the cor- take the corner. Come on. And it comes. Aluo goes up for the header away oh, again. Yeah. Ward at the back post of the shot. The it's blocked and cleared by Bath. We really need to be capitalising on these set pieces. James with the crossfield ball out to the right wing, looking for Morgan. Tom Smith having to see it behind. That's well shielded. Chelsea are definitely going coming back into it. I mean, they seem to keep the pressure on for sort of five minutes or so, and then and then it all switches the other way around. It's Definitely an end-to-end game. Still nil-nil between Hemel Hempstead and Hungerford, Oxford and Dulwich and Welling and Chippenham. Welling's first game for some time after they all their squad had to self-isolate. Good header clear by Elliot Ward. Here's Cameron James. Difficult for him to switch positions all the time. This season, central midfield, right wing back, right back, left back. Morgan with the ball forward. Headed down Seven by James. Right wing back, right back. And oh, Lloyd James there, cleared away. Oh, and Danny Imray's been caught there by Tom Smith. Not sure if that was on purpose, but he was definitely caught. Oh, and Danny Imray's been caught there by Tom Smith. No such issues for Tom Smith, though. They're wondering whether where he's going to play. He's played the last 50-odd games in a row for Bath, so... You say 50? 52 zero. games oh. in a row, yeah. <laughs> 17 goals last season. He was the National League South Player of the Year as well. So. 52 games in a row, yeah. Okay. Scored a quarter of their goals last season. Not been required on the score sheet today, although he's trying to play it forward, but that was straight at Elliot Ward. Church. Not been required on the score sheet today, although he's trying to... Cameron James knocking it down the line. Asson Ganya with a nice turn. Church. Slid out of play by Will Dean. City throw. Still got possession. Asson Ganya with a nice turn. Let's see if we can get one back before the break. We've been pressurising Bath in the last five minutes or so. Definitely have a couple of opportunities. We had a couple of corners, hit the post. So it would be nice to have a... To go in at least 3-2. It's been such an open game. It's difficult to know what the uh, right (laughs) scoreline should be at half-time. I, g- I almost feel like the right scoreline would be like a 2 2. Yeah. Like, if that makes sense. Like, I think the right <laughs> you know, Bath have not 
necessarily played oh, amazing football but have been be like a clinical yeah. with, with finishing their opportunities that they've had and I think that's been the difference. Yeah. You know, we've had the free kicks at the post, a couple of headers, but we just haven't finished. finished. Yeah, unfortunately, a couple of our best set-piece opportunities have fallen. To, oh, and Alou has made a mistake there. Here's He's Wilson, offside. the penalty over. It. It's a ball up. Great finish, yeah. put it in the net, yeah, but yeah, uh, offside. Set piece opportunities have fallen. Into and uh, and uh, I don't um, think the manager's happy about that offside decision error. either. <laughs> <laughs> great finish, put it in the net, but it's uh, offside. Set piece opportunities have fallen. Into and uh, and uh, I don't um, think the manager's happy about that offside decision either. Harrison coming forward now. That's on Gagne. Goes back to uh, Elliot Ward. Oh, headed down though easier. Just need to keep the ball. Oh, that was a high foot. There's a free kick. It's an advantage to Chelmsford. Isaac, out to the right is Imre. Down though, easier. Up against... Oh, that was a high foot. Taylor, ball in the box. Bath man goes down. Oh, and Harrison sort of slipped at the final moment. He was going to shoot there on the edge of the box, and it's thumped away by... Taylor, ball in the box. Conway there. Oh, and Harrison sort of slipped... to do is defending. Wargan. Is it to Cameron James? In between Aluwo and Imre there. And to do is defending. Wargan. Is it to Cameron James? All the way back to Wargan. So do you think they make any right subs there? at half time or do you think they'll stick to what they've got? Yeah, it's difficult, isn't it? Because you yeah. want to sort of shore up the defence, but all the way back to Wargan. need to get two goals back at least. Exactly. These are the yeah, hardest matches to make. Yeah. Sort of Poor mistake there from Bath in midfield. Ches Isaac on a great run forward. Have a go. Oh. Oh. And that's probably why he hasn't scored since March 2019 <laughs> there. <laughs> with shooting like that from Chess. We'll, we'll call a taxi to go and pick up that football. He got in the same position earlier on and crossed it into Charlie Sheringham. So maybe that could have been the best opportunity there, I think. How do you think they've played so far? Um, than what you've seen recently? We've been very good going forward. Well, more enterprising going forward. But we've been opened up at the back too much, which we haven't really been done a lot. Um, kind of the opposite way round. Yes, yeah, I find that balance between <laughs> attack and defence <laughs> is uh, what Robbie's <laughs> trying to work out at the moment. It doesn't happen overnight, does yeah, it? And I think, <laughs> you know, I think sometimes you lose a few games in a row, and you know, not moment. just fans, but people can be a bit quick to, to judge overnight. if that makes sense. Yeah. But it takes time. Three minutes of added on time. Ryan Clark, fast keeper, did go down. With an injured uh, so quickly arm taken injury. Free kick for City. Asan Gagne running forward now. He's got oh, it caught under his feet. Just under his feet. Ref gives an advantage to Bath. Hammered away. Oh, yeah, they're going Asson a bit. Gagne route one. Now. Desperation as they know they're under a bit of pressure here. Bath. Gives an advantage to Bath. I think they need the half-time whistle more than Chelmsford. Yeah, they're going Asson a bit. Gagne route one. Now. Desperation as they know Newcastle one nil up against Bath. West Brom in the Premier League. That's half-time. The Nineteen half seconds they scored <laughs> after Newcastle. <laughs> You see the West Ham game West yesterday. Yeah. Uh, my, my, the second football club. I oh, yeah, West I Ham. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice play there, Morgan. Imre down the right hand side, tackled by. Doesn't Smith. happen very often where you can look at the table oh, okay. and see see yourself as a West Ham fan in uh, in yeah. the top ten. Nice so. play there, Everyone's Morgan. looking down on down right uh, Spurs. Are looking down on everyone at the moment. That's yeah, my other team, Spurs. So. Crystal Palace if away Ham, tomorrow. If West Ham can get themselves in the top ten in the Premier League, Chelsea City can do the same in the Premier League. <laughs> Harrison <laughs> and uh, another corner. Especially with Come Sebastian Haller up front. I mean, I can't believe you're fifth in the league with him up top. In comes the corner <laughs> and a head flicked on oh, and he's gone out for a goal Haller kick. I think it was... I just can't help but feel we could have taken a bit of an advantage, of an advantage on some of these set pieces. Yep, sharing them with the header there. Already got one today. I just can't help but feel we could have taken a bit of advantage. I feel like we've had, we'd had a lot of, opp lot of opportunities, but we just haven't executed. It's frustrating. I'm sure the lads feel the frustration too. Glenn Skingsley, our analyst, is probably putting his hair out because he probably had more shots now. It's frustrating. Half times going in and our league. Hemel Hempstead nil, Chip uh, Hungerford nil, Oxford nil, Dulwich nil, St Albans one, Tunbridge one, and Welling nil, Chippenham nil. Concord has made, made it two nil against Eastbourne at the, at the break as well. So both the two sides at the bottom of the league losing, which is not good news for Champs City at the moment. Hammered down the line by Imre out for a throw in. Both the two sides at the bottom of the league losing, which is not and, good. Uh, James Taylor like, taking all day over the throw-in, bouncing it on the floor. Both the two sides Another lone player, Brim from Bristol yeah. City. James Taylor like, taking all day over the throw-in, bouncing it on the floor. 
another loan. I think they've been taking their specific. time with kind of their throw ins and free kicks and stuff. I think the last throw in they had, uh, the referee was kind of asking them to hurry along. So maybe that's uh, a tactical thing by them, yeah. just to slow the pace of the game down a little bit. The referee was kind of asking them to hurry along. So maybe that's uh, a tactical thing. been doing that all game, yeah. just to slow the pace of the game down a little bit. We've gone over the three added on minutes. Morgan tries to clear it. <laughs> he's backfield it into their dugout, and that's the half-time whistle. There we go. With Chelmsford, a very entertaining game from, from a neutral's perspective, but uh, Chelmsford left themselves far too open at the back. A horrendous own goal after 11 minutes from a free kick. We seemed to clear it against each other and went in the goal just over the line. The keeper gave it. Two minutes later, Chelmsford equalised with Charlie Sheridan's header from Ches Isaac's cross after Ches Isaac scored the own goal. But then we got uh, a set piece where we had Bath had about five opportunities to put the ball in. Yeah. And uh, they scored eventually with Danny Moran not quite closing it down on the edge of the box and a shot from Donovan Wilson. And then they had a sort of four, three or four minute spell there where they could have scored about four goals. Yeah, I think I think there's a lot of positives still to take from the game. Uh, I think sometimes people can look at the scoreline and go, oh, it's 3-1, we clearly haven't played very well. But for me, like, I've only watched a few of kind of their games obviously because I'm I'm new to the club um but they just seem to be a lot more positive going forward yeah which is what you want um it's just a shame we haven't been able to maintain the defensive structure at the same time so but cracking free kick free kick that hit the post yeah um, the third the third goal for Bath was Conway uh their top scorer in the 28th minute after he was set down the right wing fired it underneath Morgan and then we, we sort of got back into it Morgan at the post yeah. I just think we just need to Execute some of the opportunities we've had. Yeah, on a, goal. I think a that's what had a couple of headers. Sharon have just had one right at the end of the half there. Yeah. So uh, yeah, and uh, Chelmsford had got a few options on the be- bench: Barry Cotter, Cole Capecua, Tom Ray, uh, Phil Roberts back from suspension, and Billy Crook. So somebody for all positions there, apart from a goalkeeper, <laughs> I suppose. So uh, it's up to Robbie Simpson what he decides to do at half time. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be in Robbie's shoes right now. I think it's a uh, it's it's a difficult one. It's like you say. Th- for me, the only reason that Bath are ahead is because they've 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 finished their opportunities. That's yep. that's I think that's the only thing that kind of splits the two teams really. So, so yeah, it, it's going to be an interesting second half. Uh, the other half time scores: uh, Concord two, Eastbourne nil, Ebbsfleet nil, Haven't two, Hemel nil, Hungerford nil, Oxford nil, Dulwich nil, St Albans one, Tunbridge one, and Welling nil, Chippenham nil. So. Uh, if you want goals, uh, it's unlikely for Chelmsford. We've been very tight games at home, especially. But uh, Chelmsford trying to score more goals have let a few more in at the back than we we normally do. So uh, it's that, that balance that we've mentioned so far. But I think uh, we'll be back in five minutes. We'll have the half time draw for you. Um, I'll get the winners of the golden goals, and uh, also I think we'll maybe have a look at some highlights. Back in a few minutes.
Oh, well, there we go. There's the kickoff: Chelmsford City against Bath City. Three one to Bath from the first half. Dylan Asongani making a good run down the left, but it's cleared away by Bath. There's an echo in here. <laughs> <laughs> and that's cleared by Bath. Three goals to one to Bath. They took the lead after 11 minutes, an own goal from Ches Isaac. Charlie Sheridan with the equaliser. And uh, Donovan, uh, then Donovan Wilson and Tommy Conway uh, with the two further goals to Bath. Adam Morgan hitting the post with a free kick for Chelmsford. There's a low ball in from Conway. Oh, poor clearance straight to Dean. Crosses it in. But Harrison clears away. Welcome back, Emma, into the uh, oh, commentary sorry. box. <laughs> We've had a bit of uh, lunch, <laughs> half-time uh, food. Yeah, we got some sausage and chips. Yeah, which uh, I'm not not complaining about. I wasn't all. expecting it either. So very nice. It was shout out to Tracy for the sausage and chips. Absolutely amazing. It's definitely keeping us warm up here. <laughs> I think that's the worst thing though, because we're commentating, we can't mm -hmm. eat. So now I just have to look definitely at it, it. <laughs> and not eat it. Or watch Chris eating next to me, and which is even the worse. Microphones not fair. The microphones pick up everything, so you can't do it secretly either. No. Not unless I accidentally on purpose mute mine, and then I can have a nibble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Chelsea did a bit of a hole at the moment. 3-1 down. No substitutions at half-time by the look of it. Slip through there, and here's Wilson. I think Ward was playing him on side there, but well defended by Aluwo well to recovered. get back. Anthony Church stepping out of a trouble there. James with the clearance. Straight up to Harrison. Yeah, I guess it makes sense not to have any subs at half time. I mean, we were chumps of were keeping the pressure on quite well, so I think maybe he oh. just wants to see how that goes. James That's slides it down the left. Through. Morgan, can he keep it in? Oh. Oh. Into the Some side. Some of the passes have just been a little bit heavy this evening, but I guess maybe with the with the unexpected rain. Pitch maybe is a little bit more slippery. We will be doing the half-time draw at the end of the game, so it'll be the full-time draw. <laughs> <laughs> they slightly yeah, that that half-time went quick, didn't slightly it? Slightly caught us on the hop there, didn't they? It did. It seemed to fly by. Uh, West Brom have equalised away to Newcastle in the Premier League. In that, uh, one three o'clock game. Massive game at 5.30, the Manchester derby. Wargan with the clearance. That's poked away by Bath. Headed forward by Ward. That ping pong then. Harley. That's it. And uh, that's gone out for a throw into Bath City. And the left-hand side. The famous uh, man from Bath is involved in Saturday night tonight. Bill Bailey. In Strictly Come Dancing. <laughs> if you've been watching that. Is that, uh, is that your guilty pleasure? Yeah. Ben? A bit Strictly. He's been great. He's dancing a tango to Metallica well, I can tonight. see you in a leotard and sequins, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> he's, done, he's dancing a tango to Enter Sandman. I think that's worth the admission oh price. Dear. Oh. For anyone watching that's never watched Strictly, I'm with you. <laughs> Can't say it's my thing. Oh, dear. I think it's just the sequence and the, uh, the tight pants that put me off. I'm not, uh, well, don't get me wrong, I can be a girly girl. I'm just not really into sequins. <laughs> it's not, not really my thing. I think I'd rather have the cider and watch the footy. Oh, yeah, Manchester. I watched the Manchester derby and then watch that afterwards, I think. Yes. But uh, probably the most famous fan of uh, Bath is Ken Loach, the film director, who's uh, been spotted at games, came to a game against us and walked past for once. Oh. Probably the most fam famous one you might remember of late, Looking for Eric, with Eric when uh, Eric Cantona was in it. Oh, that was soft. Oh, dear. Sheringham, I think, pulled up for the free kick there. Maybe if you don't like Strictly, then, do you like The Walking Dead? <laughs> the Walking Dead? Yeah. Uh, the main uh, character from that, Andrew Lincoln, he was from Bath. Oh, he's from God. Bath. I'm so rubbish with actors and actresses' oh, right, okay. names. Unless they're like... Rick Grimes, I think. He was the main guy in The uh, Walking Dead. I have seen some of The Walking Dead. Not all of it, though. I, that's not, not my so. thing. But there we go. It's another... I like documentaries. Just watched the uh, Wayne Rooney one on Netflix. That was quite good. 
It's mm-hmm. an interesting documentary to watch because he's he's the polar opposite on and off the field. He's yeah, very much a larger than life character on the field and off the field. He's completely quiet and private. So it was actually quite interesting to watch. Seems to have retired now, Wayne Rooney, isn't he? Didn't do what Robbie's done yeah. today, play manager. Oh, Morgan in the air, a ball on. across the box. Oh, and it's Ian yes. at the second attempt, sharing him again. Gets in. <laughs> Woo! Sorry, Good. I get excited. Three, two. <laughs> Champs are back, back into it in the 51st Even minute. Even Ben cracked a smile then. <laughs> Well, Char- That's what we wanted. What a signing he's proved to be, Charlie sharing him three goals in one and a half games, just over one I mean, and a half games. I mean, some of the some of the sort of tweets and then sort of messages that I've seen is that we've kind of been, and this isn't to take anything away from the players, but apparently we've been kind of lacking a little bit of that kind of um, what's the word execution up front yeah. in the last few games. So. You know, Sheringham definitely seems to have bought that the last yeah. two games. Was I that mean, three and two? Yeah, for people, him, so. weren't, well, people weren't particularly excited about when he signed because I don't think he's ever scored against us. And against us, he's been not very good, but for us, he's been yeah, that person uh, up the top, which we need. I think sometimes players just gel. Did get the second bite of the cherry teams, there. So. So Ryan Clark, he fast defence, went AWOL in the six yard box. There was no one on him. We let <laughs> him have two shots from three yards out. Good play from Morgan down the left. Got the ball in. It's great to see them get an early goal. We, that's what we needed. Oh, all the way through here. Wilson. And it's 4-2. Oh. And, well, and you couldn't even... You just couldn't write this, could you? Literally. I get... It, I, it's going to give me a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's like a bipolar football match. <laughs> like No offence to anyone. But it's... All the way. You know, one minute we score a goal. The next minute they score a goal. They don't even give me a chance to get fully excited. No, Alubo before they score. Didn't deal with the long ball forward, and <sighs> Donovan Wilson's volleyed it in the back of the net. This is a mentally tough game if you're a player on the pitch right now, because every time they get a goal back, Bath just take one <laughs> to score another one right after. Ah, oh, gutting crazy. for Chelmsford. said it's they've got themselves back in the game, three two, one goal in it, and Bath have gone up the other end. Donovan Wilson. Literally, 10 seconds later. Goes level on <laughs> level on goals with uh, his strike partner, Conway, on six for the season. Oh, and he's down injured as well, Wilson. So hopefully, <laughs> for a chance of point of view, that might be the last we've seen, seen of him. He's on a hat trick now. I think they're down to 10 men at the moment. They haven't made a substitution. Looks like Harley's been pushed up into a forward position. Ball down the left-hand side. Cameron James cut into the area. Tackled by by Batten. I think they were calling for maybe handball or something then, but... (coughs) What's the ref given? I think he's given a throw, I think. Yeah, the clearance down the line just went straight out. We'll be able to see on the replay at the end whether that was an actual handball or not, so... What the shout was Wilson, for. About Wilson, okay to carry on. It's just unbelievable, isn't it? Like, you, you know, with with three two down and looking at getting back in the game, and then you blink, and then all of a sudden it's four two. It, it feels like it's been like that the whole game. Completely out of character for Chelsea of the season. This sort of game, back and forth. Yeah. And this fixture as well. Chelsea have won the last touch. Chelsea have won the last two games here, one nil. Both of the penalty against Bath. <laughs> chip. chip. A Go game on Cameron James of the cross, which has gone behind for a goal kick. I think that probably after this, the game on Tuesday is going to be nil-nil, isn't it? <laughs> People <laughs> are going to be practising your penalties. <laughs> yeah. Still, uh, the scoreline still nil-nil between Swindon, Supermarine and Cosholton. One of these teams will be playing them next week. Is that if if who whoever wins Tuesday night will play, will get yeah. play them next Saturday, and they're going to make a substitution here, and Wilson eventually c- goes off after two goals this afternoon, and uh, Lucas Tomlinson, another low knee, coming on, number twenty. He's on loan from Bristol Rovers. He he's had to miss out because he was the man missing out because of. They had too many lone players. That might be a bit of a change there because he's a centre midfield player, I think so. 
unless they push, they might push Conway through the middle, which I think they have done. Tomlinson out on this right. Yeah, so they've put Conway through the middle. I'm back, big, back with you, Ben. <laughs> Sorry. Harrison with the free kick, chip forward, uh, under hit. I couldn't look at the food any longer. Massively. Not eat it. Oh, that was a poor but tackle there. Asson Gagne lays it out on, to in Cameron the box. James. In the box. Low ball in the box, oh. well held onto by Ryan Clark, 38 year old uh, goalkeeper. It's all chumps. With, like I said it in the first half, and I'll, I'll stick by it. They just need to keep possession, pass the ball, and take chances. That's it. The yeah. It's, it's, it's a numbers game. We're getting in, 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 in a game like this. Do you know what I mean? We're getting in a lot down this left-hand side here. Is, um, yeah. Grant, um, I think Will Dean, who's not normally a right-back, have had to uh, push him over there because well of injury. The same cross that they just put in then was where our, our second goal came from. So it'd just be good to see them doing that, getting some more crosses in the box. Welcome to the game, Lucas Tomlinson there, immediately chopped down by Cameron <laughs> James. Hungerford have taken the lead away to Hemel Hempstead. They've uh, fallen off the cliff there for them after a great start, and that'll be a good result. Hemel Hempstead haven't won at home yet this season. That's cleared That's away well by defended. a Lugo for a corner. Yeah, it was well defended. So much time left in this game, not even got to the hour mark yet, and we've already oh. had six goals. Maybe my 4-4 prediction from earlier could, could be <laughs> yeah. could come true. It did seem like after that such an open start, it was going to be like this. So uh, if it finishes 4-4, well played, Chelmsford Zoo. Oh, and it was an awkward header by Church. It's come back here to Harley. In comes the cross That's from James, Lloyd James, headed a away. Lofty one there. They kept it in play on the far side, going going back here to Artis. Chips it down the line. Here's Go Conway. On he's on side there. Back to Smith. Just a bit blurry, isn't it, the camera? Harley. I think it's the rain from earlier. Maybe yeah. it's just a bit of a film over it. Hey, with that, oh, it's my eyes. Not a great. <laughs> I don't not, need better glasses. Not not great conditions with the rain <laughs> and the. And the sort of half light, it's not quite properly dark yet, is it? As the sun's going down, the floodlights can't really take full effect. Yeah. Right, come on, City. Church, going back there to Aluwe. The only outfield ever present we've had this season. As well as when Lee Wargan has played every game as well. It's a good ball. Morgan, he's back here. Harrison. Gets it out to the left hand side. In the box. In the Low box. ball from James slid away. Just I don't whenever we cross it in, we just don't seem to have anybody making those runs at the near post in front no. of the goalie. Just causing that little bit of problem there for him. Be nice to see someone making those runs. Harrison. Cameron James. Low ball out to Ches oh, Isaac. Can he have a go? He's gonna line up a shot. Oh. It's taken a huge deflection. Surely gonna, gonna go be a corner. a corner. Yep. Artist couldn't keep it Come in. Come on, City. That works for both sides in this game, I suppose. Bath, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nicknamed the Romans, Bath. What's that? Uh, in comes the corner. Oh! oh! And almost there. Sheridan's kept it alive. Sheridan heads it down. Still Aluwo, there, still there. And another chance there. What are they appealing for? Asson Gagne was also involved, but Ryan Clark comes out of it with the oh. ball. Whether that, I don't know if it was a back pass, maybe. Possibly, yeah. That could have been the only thing. Have we got any uh, VAR on that, Chris? It was an absolute... <laughs> I was watching the North London derby last week. The man with the replays. Danny Ceballos did a blatant one where he just volleyed it back to his goalkeeper and the referee <laughs> didn't give it. So. Hammered forward. A loop over the header away. Oh, oh, it come off, comes off the arm. Yeah, we're just, just having a look at the replay there. I'm sure you'll be able to see some of these at the end of the game as well. And we can go through those, but <laughs> Cameron um, James does it's looking like it actually came off the arm, and that's what they're appealing for. Off uh, Yeah, hopeful appeals maybe for, as the ball is gonna run through to the goalkeeper. 
and this is Morgan running down the left, but he's run out of play and he's taking it out with him. Not sure if that wasn't a city ball there, but ref has the final word. Home fans coming back hasn't really helped. Only one team out of seven games is winning at home in the league <laughs> today. Concord is the only uh, game, although Ebbsfleet don't have fans, neither do Welling, I think. So. That's just typical, isn't it? Because they're in time tier the fans, three. Fans get to come back and. But mind you, like. Although I think tier three, even if Essex does go into tier three next later on this week or. 16th of December is possibility for... Yeah. It's not really this area of Essex. It's the down below the 127 area, the Basildon, Billericay, South End, Brentwood area that seems to be uh, yeah. bearing the brunt of it. Just depends if they decide to segregate it or do the whole lot, doesn't yeah. it, really? So. I think they have to put it in... W- it's down to councils, isn't it? So yeah. if, if Essex Individual goes in, councils, and yeah, South End is a separate entity, isn't it? So, but... What will be, will be... But I think they said we can have 15% uh, capacity in uh, Tier 3 areas, which might be good for teams in Kent. or And I think it says uh, number 20 has gone down. Tomlinson, the substitute, he had one kick and he's, uh, he's got another one now. Haven't three up at Ebbsfleet. Oxford have taken the lead over Dulwich. And there's a red card. Well, I think that's a little bit harsh. To be fair. Is it Anthony Church has been sent off, is it? Yep. I think that's straight, a little bit harsh. Straight it red. It was it was late, but I just I didn't feel it was malice enough for a red. That's a shame. And an uphill battle was taking even more of a slope. Well, I like a challenge. <laughs> Let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> 62 minutes gone, 4-2 to Bath, and Chelmsford now down to 10 men. Well, at least the f- at least the first game back for fans has been entertaining. So Anthony far. Church, first game back after injuries, uh, going to spend another three games out there with uh, down to 10. Crazy. It's It's definitely been a packed game of entertainment, shall we say. It's just, if we could come away with a draw, that would be... That would be great. That would be some achievement with 10 men as well from here. Exactly. So much time in the game, though. 28 minutes plus stoppage time. That's what I mean. If it was only like, you know, five minutes, 10 minutes to go, then you kind of worry that you wouldn't be able to get a draw. But we have a lot of time left, and I I think we have the quality to do it. Missed interception from Cameron James. Aluwo clears. Cameron James uh, appealed that the ball had already gone out of play, which it has done. Here's a uh, Imrate Harrison nightmare for Robbie. Now he's n- he's not made any subs, but I've got one short midfield now. Where he's going to have to bring Adam Morgan back into a midfield and just say the two up front, four three two. I was going to say, how's he going to how's he going to jig it? Knock down the line. Batten gets in front of Asan Gagne. Thing is, they've got nothing to lose. They've got to go for it. Got plenty of time. Ten men have come back and won plenty of games before, so you have to go for it. It's a good ball forward. <coughs> on the right hand side. Just a little bit too much pace on it. Yeah, it'd be interesting to look back over that red card challenge at the end of the game. See what you guys think. I didn't really see it looked just like a foul to me, and I thought he was just going to get yeah. a yellow card, <laughs> but then everyone seemed to surround the referee. Yeah, very quickly. Oh, and we have some rain. <laughs> That's just made a, made a guest appearance on the camera screen. Yeah, it it, it kind of looked like he slipped. Like if that mm. referee's it's hard given to explain, no so. leeway for the pitch. No, the it, it, did, it kind of. I mean. You know, I stand corrected when we replay it and look back at it, but it looked like he slipped, and that's what kind of made him go in late. Yeah, walking with the ball up, Asan Gagne not really got into it as much as he did last Saturday. Come on, out wide, Harrison. He's found Imre outside. What can the youngster do with it? Still only seventeen, oh. but he's blocked there by Taylor. 
Cross comes in again to the Ooh. back post. No one there. Sheeran have gone near. It's a little bit too long there. That's where we didn't have that it's extra nice man. nice to see Danny getting forward. Lovely golden sunset over the uncovered row row goal there. What a lovely comment, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Well, Red Sky at night, Shepherd's Delight, so hopefully maybe we won't have a bit of better weather for the ladies' game tomorrow. Yeah, that'll be live on uh, tomorrow at 2 o'clock, free. Yeah, feel free to tune in. Uh, I'll be commentating. Uh, as we said earlier, unfortunately, I'm not fully fit just yet. So probably that's me done for this year now, I think. But um, but yeah, we're second. We're currently lying second in the league, looking good for promotion. So anyone that wants to tune in, uh, it's free and we'd love your support. Down the right-hand oh, side, Danny. in right, trying to burst past. This is what I'm used to Harley. seeing from Danny. No ball in the box. A mistake from Batten. Can I and again, you get on it. Oh. Taylor just takes it away. And Harley comes back into the left-back position to side-foot it away. It's good to see Danny being positive uh, going forward. A, there's a free kick, which is one. That's something when, when I was saying to you earlier, you know, not seeing kind of so much of Danny going forward today, whether that's been a tactical decision, you know, by... By Robbie or whatever, but it's uh, the second that he does do it, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it causes problems. And, and the, wins le the young kick. left back there, Taylor, who's well, he's two years older than Danny Imre, nineteen, but he's uh, got himself in trouble there, given the free kick away. I think it's going to be Cameron James. It's like an orb, Chris. Little raindrop on the camera. <laughs> Come on, City, let's make something of this set piece. Great he ball in. Ward and oh. he's headed it wide. Goal kick. Just feel like Elliot needed to be half his height to be able to head that head of that ball then. <laughs> it's just a little bit low. A few more goals going in. Eastbourne have got one back at Concord. That's 2-1 to the home side. And Oxford are also down to 10 men, but they're in front against Dulwich. Welling were also struggling once again. 1-0 down at home to Chippenham. The golden goal winners, by the way, in the first half. 11th minute, Dave Morris won the first prize. And second prize, 13th minute, Caravan Man was the second prize. Caravan Man? Yeah. It's a man that likes a caravan. I'm it's sorry. E <laughs> Eastbourne of Equaliser. Sometimes you say things and you think it's there. funny, but you don't know if anyone else is laughing, so. Ward had just missed that chance. High ball forward to Sheringham. Let's get it under control. Got Morgan running. Can oh, he find him? It just seems oh. a little bit slippery on the pitch at the Sharon moment. Sharon them with a the poke in the box. No, he's one at the back. Over hit that over ass on Ganyi. <laughs> so it's not, not quite tall enough, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor with the clearance. In race slips. I mean, there's just a couple of little slips across the pitch happening at the moment. Ball up to Conway. Ooh, I oh, I think and he's onside. Through. Offside Ooh. there against that Tomlinson. Was that was definitely a close call. Offside against Tomlinson, who uh, calls that red card for Church. Yeah, I'm still. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing that again. Is is incorrect, but I'm, I I want to watch the replay of that just to see if uh, if I was correct or if I was feel like I was wrong. Harrison, it's a great challenge. Good pressing, all the way through to Clark. Robbie hasn't Robbie hasn't gone to his bench yet. No, I guess. I'd since they since he's been sent off, I don't. It doesn't actually feel like they've got ten men. No, I feel like that they've filled that gap quite well, actually. Yeah, we just changed slightly to go. I said two up front. Morgan playing on the left of a midfield three. Mm. Harrison and and uh, Isaac in there. I mean, you're always going to have to work harder when you go down to ten men. But I definitely think the formation is that they've chosen to go with is is actually quite working. Chip forward, a Lou with a header away. Wonder whether Asson Ganyi would be the man to be replaced, but maybe Robbie's given him a, a more of a chance. It's only a second game, so he sometimes he you can need can to look lively. He's quite. He's only nineteen, so he's got a lot of energy. Yeah, I think sometimes you got to with these youngsters, you have got to give them the benefit of the doubt because they're not all going to be super super confident. You know, at nineteen years old playing men's football. It, it can take them a couple of games to get into their stride. So, oh, Elliot, 
There's somebody coming on there. Looks like Billy Crook. Uh, Roberts is coming on as well, number 12. That was a late foul by uh, Elliot Ward. Again, it was Tomlinson, the man that was found, who seems to have pinpointed him out for a special treatment <laughs> today. <laughs> this afternoon, he's had about five fouls on him. Thrown down the line, headed away by um, Cameron James. It's picked up by Harrison. Chip down the left hand That's side. He's looking, ball looking over. for the run of Sheringham. Can he get around Go the on. defender here? Ooh. Yes. Just about kept it in play, yep. trying to win a corner. That'll go for a corner. Yep, well done, done well it. played. Off Batten. Well played. I wonder a number of uh, Bath players have come out of Bristol City's academy, Jack Batten. We've got a score from one of these set pieces, surely. We've had so. We, it feels like we've had so many of them now. And it comes, to, and it's headed up oh. the air by Bath. Cameron James fighting for it, still keeps it alive in the box. Get it in, get it in. Chips it, back post, oh. Elliot Ward. A volley across the face yes! and goes in. Yes! <laughs> and did, I think it was Aluwo has got the final touch on that. It was his first I goal. I love that. We've got a score from a set piece soon, and then this is the one that leads to the goal. You need me here more often, Ben. Well, it's what can I say? been way more exciting <laughs> <laughs> than most games. 4 3, what a game. That was great. It was the two centre backs combining for that one. Elliot Ward volley across the face of goal. It's great volley across the goal by Elliot Ward. Real, really well connected with that. And Cameron James did really well keeping that alive. Yes. In the box after the initial corner was cleared. And then it's a bit like Chelmsford. What a great game. A bit I, like know, I know we're not winning, but still, <laughs> <laughs> I'm really enjoying this game. I it's think maybe that could soften the blow if we do end up coming out on the wrong side of it. The fact it's been such an entertaining watch, although it's yeah. been fingers through your eyes defend, um, well, wa you watching said, it through you your fingers four, four. defending. Yeah. <laughs> so... Is I think you know you, you pay money to go and watch football and you want it to be entertaining. I know, obviously, everyone wants their team to win, but I think for a first game back, you couldn't have really asked for much more, really, other than hopefully nicking a point or a win at the end. Yeah, you know, ten men hitting the post, looking Just keeping the goal difference tight, sorts. which could go into play yeah. <laughs> as well. And with ten men, Chelmsford should have done it. Asson Gagne down the right hand side. He's Go got on. to the byline, laying it Put back, it back, and it's oh. into the arms of Clark. It's oh, it's gone for a goal kick as well. Oh, did oh it. come uh, on. Maybe Asson Ganyi got a second chance and hit it wide. Yeah, Adi Aluwo's first goal for the club. He's, uh, he possibly probably could have done better for uh, their fourth goal. <laughs> but um, I'm starting to feel a little bit like I, th I think Ch I think City deserve the draw. Yeah, I mean, I think they do. I think they, they've, they've constantly come back from behind. Bath have played on the counter attack. They've had that one chance with the long ball. Yeah, and Donovan Wilson, obviously a very good player, he's played for Wolves, scored for Wolves um, before. And he's sort of been drifted out. Unfortunately, <laughs> he found himself at Macclesfield when they went uh, bust. So had to find a new club after that. He's, oh, I, um, think I think they've played Bath. really well since they've gone down to 10 men. Be really impressed. And losing our captain as well, which I think Cameron yeah. James has taken over as captain. I think he was wearing the armband. Chumps you know, if this, if this goes to 4-4, four, four, I think one of the things that they'll probably get told is, why didn't you play like that from the start? <laughs> 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 but it's true, sometimes it takes that, doesn't it, to kind of get that extra 5% out of your team. Where Chelmsford have been vulnerable that today, just after we've scored it. And then they come again, Tomlinson. Lays it across. And here's a chance of Bath, though. No. And it's, he's got it all wrong, did Smith. I think it's gone for a corner. Man that scored 17 last season. He hasn't got himself on the score sheet yet. Don't say yet. <laughs> he isn't going to get himself on the score sheet. <laughs> Hopefully. No, I mean, really impressed with City since they've gone down to 10 men. I think they've they've come out fighting. St Albans 2-1 up over Tunbridge. They've come from a goal down. Still undefeated, St Albans. That's really? Not a side you would have thought have been up there. How did they do last season? Harley with the corner. It's cleared away by Harrison. I think they were sort of, they were struggling. They were in the just above the relegation <laughs> zone, I think. Them. 
they probably obviously, a good they obviously took a bit of whatever Bath yeah. had last season. It came down. <laughs> it, it, it was a good time for the season to finish for St Albans. And no relegation with the teams below making themselves null and void. Looks like Robbie's told the two substitutes that we're going to come on to go and sit down again. Roberts is... Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think he... And Crook <laughs> were going to come on, but they're not now. He's Yeah, I mean, I, I personally probably wouldn't... It's difficult though, isn't it? Because, you know, do We're you put subs on and go for it? Or yeah. do you, you know, because you're playing well, do you hold that and hope for the draw? It's, I it's a difficult I think a decision. massive difference in this game has been Wilson going off for, the, for Bath. Ever since he's off, he's gone off. They haven't been, they haven't looked the same going forward. Scored two goals and injured himself in the process of it's scoring true. the they've second looked, goal. They've looked less sharp. I definitely agree with you on that. St Albans 3-1 <coughs> up against Tunbridge now. The City just, they just seem hungry for it. Way more than when they, than when they came out in the first, in the first half. James with the ball through and it's going to be a free kick, I think. Harrison's going to take it. The referee, Isaac Sell, he's refereed. It's only the second game refereeing champs that he sent off a player in both games. One Dorking uh, player sent off last time. Chelsea. Ward getting around the back post again as he did for the third goal. I think that's going to be a quarter. Artis is struggling here, but... Uh, oh, they've given a goal kick. My eyes I think he ended up. Me. I think he <laughs> ended up just uh, sort of swishing about there, Artis, and missed it. So Elliot Ward got the last touch. Yeah, <coughs> I think he did come off Elliot. <coughs> Excuse me. Seventy six minutes down, or seventy seventh minute. So, come on, City. Be a shame for it to finish four three, having come this far, and, and with ten men as well. Yeah. I think if if they can get a, if they can get a draw here, or you know, oh. minimum with ten men, I think that will give them a massive confidence boost going into the next game as well. Clark, hopefully, was awful long. Long time he took over that one, but Chelmps have won it back again. <coughs> Harrison running down the right. He's been he likes taking his time, that goalie. <laughs> He's done it all game. Oh, a bit of a poor first touch there. Looks like we've had a substitution. Billy Crook on. Chaz Isaac gone off. So we've, we have made one of those two substitutions. Go on, Danny. Go on, Danny. Imre with the cross in the box. Oh. Batten with the clearance high up in the air. It's not going to go out. Him raising Great to get touch. it. And he's won the free kick as well, taken down by Smith. Oh, is he hurt or not too sure? Yeah, and he's been booked for kicking the ball away. Number four, that's Tom Smith for Bath. He's got a book in there for kicking the ball away. And rightly so. good to see that some of the refs do sort of clamp down on these things like dive in and you know time wasting and things like that in comes the free kick morgan with it oh, and it's, it's not a very good free kick unfortunately uh, Asson, i hate to say it as on gany was trying to run I over i think here. we could have done better harrison him right oh it's deflected in bath's path but aluo is going to come across Come on, City. Here's Crook. Just come on. Bringing out a defence. Oh. And Sheridan tried to flick it down the left to Elliot Ward, who was playing as an auxiliary left winger there. To uh, couldn't get on the end of it. He's had a good game, uh, Elliot, today, I think. You say it's his first game back from being injured? Yeah, he had one game out. Yeah. Clashed into Alex Tenyola, which maybe is a reason why Tenyola's <laughs> not involved today in training a couple <laughs> of weeks ago. Knee to knee. Oh, I think it's even worse when your injury comes from training. That's where mine came from. Oh, Literally, last five minutes. Sloppy pass <laughs> and crook. Smith down the left. Goes back. Harley. Artists now, and there's Harley Brilliant again. to see the work rate of some of the City lads really putting in a 
a shift, if you like, as they say, <laughs> to try and win the ball back. In rain out. One back by chance, are they? And they get their just deserves. So you put the effort in, you will get the reward. Delayed gratification. Elliot Ward does oh. look a bit tired, though. So <laughs> it's been a, a hard game. We were talking Energy earlier. Energy sapping. We were, we were down at the trials earlier this morning and, and having a conversation. We decided that we're uh, we're experienced players, not old. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had more academy trials this morning at Molsham. Ball in the box. Yeah, they o- were great. Oversharing great, them. Great for me to be a part of it and sort of help out with, uh, with Mickey and Elliot down there as well. exciting to see some of the talent that sort of will be coming through in the next few years hopefully yeah and this, really is, this is for entry next September yeah so some really good lads down there <coughs> maybe why Mickey not involved in the squad today because he was probably focusing on that this morning quite possibly and he's also deep in conversation with Robbie on the, on the sideline there with Steve Pitt as well on the just the right of the dugout I'd say I just don't see how that's a free kick. Oh, Cameron James shoving Tomlinson again. He's to be, obviously, to be he's obviously fair. annoyed somebody since when he's come on. I think it's going to be... At least yeah, to be fair, he there. went down very easily for that foul and he then threw himself on the floor when he pushed him. Oh, dear. As I say, streaming for the ladies' game tomorrow. We don't dive. Ha, <laughs> Oh, it does wind me up, though. Ches Isaac actually did dive last Saturday in that game. I haven't he admitted it at half time. apparently. It is something that winds me up. I mean, you play a good enough standard of football, and that's a dive. Same player again. That's a dive. James again. The ref should not should have be having a word with him for diving. Same, I'm sorry. Same two players involved. I just think at this, stand, at this standard of football, you're good enough to not need... To cheat. Harrison, good play which there. Which is my opinion on diving. So. Crook gets it back. Sheringham, good defending though. From Bath. And take yeah, it off I don't think Sheringham needed to go down there. It was a good tackle. He's on a hat-trick as well. Two of the three goals for Chelmsford today. One like, for Adi I'd like to see him get that today. <laughs> I think if it's left foot, it'll be a perfect hat-trick. <laughs> head right, left. Yeah. <laughs> He's got a header and a right-footed one so far. I don't care how the goal comes no. in. If it comes off of his left ear, I'll Off's take it. <laughs> offside against Tommy Conway there for Bath. Newcastle gone back in front in that Premier League game against West Brom. Come on, City. Chelmsford, are the two couple of the sides below are not winning it today, though. Concord and Welling. Some good news. But, uh, still seven minutes to go. Seven goals in this game. Yeah, he sliced that clearance there. Chelsea are down to ten with that church red card, but we have scored since then. One nil since the red card. It's Cameron James coming down the left-hand side. Go on, in the box. On in Danny. the box. He goes past in the him. Box. Oh, and oh. A save by Clark from the Harrison shot. And that oh. was a chance there for 4-4. <laughs> four, four. <laughs> Come on. Crook gets it out to the left. Sheridan is off. Uh, Cameron James offside. Oh, such a shame. A great one. Who was it that ran, made the run down the side for that, to cross that ball in? Uh, James. Cameron James. Yeah, that was a great run. And then Callum Harrison trying to just side foot it in the bottom corner. Good save from Ryan Clark. Kept his side in front. I have to apologise if I don't know all the names as of yet. So... <laughs> <laughs> I've played for the club for two years, but only been working here for a week now. So it's a, it's a learning curve. And you've had Plus, a lot I'm not very good with names anyway. <laughs> had a lot of injuries and playing for the ladies team as well. So. Yeah, oh, this is true. Me. This is true. Through forward by Artis, went straight through to Lee Wargan. Come on, City. I, you know what? They deserve that fourth goal. They really do. Aluwo bursting forward. Comes back to Crook. This is You may not Harrison. have seen some amazing football, but Asson, they have fought for it. Asson Gagne on loan from Oxford. Keeps it alive. Asson Gagne still going. Edge of the area. Cameron James goes oh. down. No penalty. 
and thumped away by Bath, who are living on the edge at the moment. I'm going to have to see that on replay at the end of the game. I'm not Con- sure whether that Conway, was a though, down the right. He might have found somebody in the middle. Chance here for Smith. Oh, oh and he's in he's it wide. Missed it. <laughs> what a chance to kill it for Bath there and Tom Smith. No, it's going to be 4 4. That's why he didn't score. It's <laughs> meant to be, Ben. You, you predicted it earlier. Come on, City. The FA Trophy tie, um, Swindon, Supermarine and Cashalton is still nil-nil with five minutes to go. So heading towards a shootout for whoever. Don't forget, we've got to play each, we're got playing each other again on Tuesday night. We're going to be, this is true. That will be goalless, wouldn't it? It's, just, it's written, I think, that this is <laughs> yeah. an absolute humdinger. Asson Gagne up to the edge of the box, brought down on right on the edge of the oh. area. That was a bit like... Is the, this it? Is this going to be the fourth goal? Adam Morgan, well, he's, he's had one sighter with that. The left-footed free kick. He's got the ball in his hand. <laughs> and he's going to put this down. He wants it. I don't think it was as far out as that. Maybe Morgan's deliberately <laughs> moved it back a couple of yeah, yards. I just get a bit, bit more closer, distant. But uh, I think maybe he's preferred it a bit further out. Asson Gagne actually has got... Oh, we're just watching the replay of it. And it, it is literally on the line of the box. Well, that's a penalty so if it's on the line. I I think, yeah, I think... It's in the D. Yeah. I think yeah. sometimes, not saying with, so with this situation, but sometimes the refs just have to have a little bit more kahunas It'd be a modi- to, tape it, to say penalty in the 86 minutes. A modicum of controversy if this goes in because we've taken it from two yards further behind, from back from it, where it should well, be. Well, if the free, if the foul was on the line, then technically it should have been a penalty. So there's controversy Morgan with the free kick, oh. high and wide. Oh, dear. Asson Gagne has got a lot better since as the game's gone on. He didn't really get into it in the first half, but since yeah. he's played through the middle in a two, yeah, I he's agree. looked a lot more threatening. And he is threatening. He's lightning quick when he goes forward. It's It's been a lot better second half. A lot better second half. <laughs> in fact, I think they've played better since they went down to 10 men. Yeah. <laughs> and that's not to say the player that got sent off wasn't playing well. Yeah, it's Churchy. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Skipper. <laughs> it's... Uh, as he just yellow carded the keeper for taking too long. Well, so he should. Well done, ref. Eighty-eighth minute. Is what I mean, well, if he gets a, I just think do, it's, I just think it's petty and, they... and it's pointless. Like, you know, it's it's like when you see the teams that go and shield the ball in the corner just to wind down the clock. It really winds me up. Imre with the ball over to the right hand side. It's a good ball in. Come on. Good ball in the box punched away. Go on. Harrison with the lob and it's oh. over the bar. <laughs> Oh, this game's got everything. Chumps have made a second sub. I thought that was uh, Roberts. Come on. And they've really gone for it. Elliot Ward's gone off. I did say he was looking a bit tired. <laughs> Fresh legs on the pitch. I said we've got three forwards on the pitch now. Sort of 3-3-3 three, 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 I think not? we're it's playing now. you you got nothing to lose. I think it's the right decision. Yeah, even even if we do come away with a without a draw today, I think I think the fans and the players should be very proud of how they've played today. Yeah. I think they've like I said the football may not have been the best quality that we've seen City play, but they have definitely oh. fought and scrapped. No, that's I thought he was going to blow up there. Ball. Harrison. Go uh, Morgan on, puts go it on. through the legs. Morgan in the area. Oh. And he's that corner? No, gets it wrong with the kick. shot. It's a goal kick. Completely. I think nut- I knew it was a co- <laughs> it was a goal kick. I was just kinda hoping. <laughs> Great run into the box and put it, it through was. the legs of Ta- of uh, Horton. But uh, the final finish wasn't there. Almost into the 90th minute. Oh, what a game. Aluwo. Morgan. Clears it away just about. I think it was a bit of a late tackle by Conway. Morgan's had it taken off him. You got a track back there. Tomlinson. Conway's down in the penalty area. He's got up limping. I'm sure if the ball gets fr- crossed into the box, he'll, uh, he'll stop limping. Oh, look, there he goes. That's, the, that's Smith. <laughs> as soon it back. as the ball came in, he stopped limping. That was a different play. Oh, that was Smith. Conway's still there. He's not running gingerly. Oh, he'll be fine. Harrison. Spreads it out to Roberts. It's a good ball. Come on, City. 
Come on. Still going hammering down the right hand side against Taylor here. Ball in the oh. box. Batten thumps it away. Goes out for a throw in. Oh, I'd love to see them just get that goal at the end. That'd be amazing. It'd fill up with one. <laughs> all down the line. Asson Gagne, it's a corner. That Come was a on, bit City. of a mistake there from Bath. We're all getting excited in here. It's like it's like it's the FA Cup final or something. <laughs> Adam I think there's a lot of positives we can take away from this game anyway, so... Adam Morgan with the corner. Short to Crook. Back to Adam Morgan again. Oh, go on. Oh. And that's a free kick against Sheringham, who's going up for the header. He took... Five, like he took a bit of a knock then as well. Five added on minutes as well, so a lot of... More time to come. We do need a little bit more. Yeah. We do need to keep playing until we score. I think that's the sort of... Uh, <laughs> Five minutes is a good amount of time. I mean, for all the time that the goalie's taken to take all his kicks, it's, you know, it's yeah. got to be like at least an extra half it's an hour. He knew he that. was going to get a yellow card eventually. It was just when he was going to get it. <laughs> 88th minute isn't really making <laughs> a lot of difference. Yeah, <laughs> but he, d he deserved to have one, so I'm glad the ref made that decision. It's the right decision. Third Bath, three Bath players in the book. Two, one, one for Chelmsford and a red. I've never been booked. <laughs> Ever. Gary Lineker. My whole <laughs> career, never been booked. Bath taking their time over. I've been close. This throw in. I definitely had the uh, the telling off. Right. <laughs> it's different. I think women's football is. It's a lot better now, but when I played when I was younger, it's, it was quite different to men's football. Oh, free kick given away. Sharing them. Trying to help out and win the ball back. Three goals in two games for him. Yeah, he's played well since he's come, hasn't he? Let's see that out. Conway. That's not a free kick. Get Ball's up. over, it's a throw in. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Just Hungerford have won away to Hemel Hempstead. Hemel Hempstead still can't win at home. Morgan. Oh. What's he doing uh, there? Confidence Al by the goalie. Aluwo <laughs> did get caught out like that against Chippenham. Aluwo hammers it downfield. Robert's trying to flick it on. Can it come to Sheringham here? Oh, he's just slipped. Bath have got a lot back now. I think I might tell the ladies to uh, stud up rather than... Yeah, this might, tomorrow be, might be a bit uh, worn after this game tomorrow. Yeah. Coming forward. That's, uh, oh, oh, that was a given poor away pass. By Harrison. And then he's gone in for a very late tackle there. I but don't even think he tackled Conway. him. Conway. <laughs> I just feel like he slid across him. <laughs> there was no actual challenge there. Tackle by Aluwo. Crook. Yeah. Bath keep it alive in the midfield. Tomlinson, who's had quite an impact since coming on. Now Smith taking it over to the sideline for a Is that the waste 20 in time. for Bath? Yeah. The one that was having the uh, the dispute with Elliot. <laughs> yeah. It was, uh, it was Cameron James he was pushing. Oh, the Cameron book, James. Book sorry. And he, he was the one fouled for the church sending off as well. Wargan going to take the free kick. We've got two minutes to go of the stoppage time. Come on. You deserve the draw. Come on. I think uh, the last half an hour, it's Harrison's got yellow carded. Come Headed on, away City. by Bath. Oh, he's given another free kick. Just shoving the back. I think Harrison's over the free kick. Crook's run away from it. Even uh, Lee Wargan's up. Come on. It's a good delivery. Sharing him. Oh, it's in, but it's, uh, the flag's gone up. Oh. Harrison goes down the floor. Lee Wargan's first to oh, check with the ref. Oh, you're kidding. Offside flag went up against Sheringham. Oh. Denying us a 95th oh. minute equaliser. Oh, I have no words. 
flag went up early there, to be fair, <laughs> before we put it in the net, so I, was, I didn't half celebrate. Absolutely. Gu- I was so focused on the on the ball going in and Would the have been header. A hat- <laughs> I didn't even notice the flag. Would have, have been a hat trick replay, for sharing them. I think if it's gone up early and you said you noticed it, then yeah. I think it is probably an offside, so... What a ball in it was, though. Cameron James with a long throw. Bath clear it. It's a free kick. And that's going to be it, I think. Bath have hung on. Oh. A great effort you know from Chelmsford with 10 men for the last 30 minutes. They really did go for that and play well. Oh, I'm absolutely gutted for them. Yeah. Absolutely gutted. Your 4-4 was almost correct. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a game. What a game. I know it's not the result that we wanted. You know, we've obviously lost here today, but... I hope the fans that have come back to watch today have been have been entertained and enjoyed the, enjoyed the game, even though we haven't quite got the the result that we wanted. I think it's been a spectacular. I think they played brilliantly since they went down to ten men. Yep. So uh, Bath took the lead in the eleventh minute. Ches Isaac with the own goal. A little calamity of errors there in the chumps of back line, sharing them equalised straight away. Then two and three minutes, Donovan Wilson and Conway. Chumps have got back to three two with Sharon and poking in. In six minutes into the break, but we conceded again a minute later from Wilson. When he got subbed off, Bath didn't really create a lot after that. They won from Tom Smith late on, which they hit wide. But uh, Anthony Church had a red card in the 62nd minute. Then uh, Adi Aluwo scored his first goal for the club in the 72nd minute to make it 4-3. But despite a lot of possession in the last 20 minutes, just couldn't find that equaliser, Emma. Oh, absolutely gutted. I Literally. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I thought we had it. I thought we had it. But I think there's a lot of positives to take from the game. Like you said, like when we went down to 10 men, the, the boys literally came out fighting. Um, so it was great to see. It was just... The game had everything. Um, it'd be interesting to watch the some of the replays on the red card and some of the key sort of moments in the game, if you like. Um, but yeah, I think there's a lot of positives that we can take from this game moving into the next one. Yeah. Um, the other score lines, Concord 2, Eastbourne 2... Ebbsfleet lost three at home to Haven. Hemel Hempstead nil. Hungerford won. St Albans are still undefeated. Uh, three one winners over Tunbridge. Welling lost one nil at home to Chippenham, and uh, Oxford are still playing against Dulwich. Uh, with down to ten men, they're still winning one nil. Oxford. That's the latest uh, scores. We'll maybe get a table in a bit, and we we'll also get uh, Steve Shaw uh, in here, the chairman of Champion City, to with a few thoughts about the game, but also to. Uh, um, advertise a charity game that we've co- got coming up a week tomorrow but uh, also Fingers tomorrow crossed. we've got um, Chelsea City Ladies against Rayleigh at 2 o'clock and uh, that'll be streamed live on uh, um, on online as well for you to watch a bit more, a few more details come out this evening and uh, we'll have a quick break and then we'll be back in a couple of minutes
Uh, welcome back. We've got uh, Chairman Steve Shaw alongside me. Um, what a great game, Steve. Unfortunately, we just couldn't get that equaliser we deserved, I think. Yeah, it's uh, incredibly disappointing. I think uh, they played very, very well out there. Uh, hopefully people saw that kind of commitment from the players. Uh, result just didn't go our way. We, you know, it's kind of a bit ironic, isn't it? You know, we, we started the season really well with a really solid defence and not let, not conceding many goals, and then today we're letting four. Um, you know, I think, uh, well, we, we learn from these things, but it was nice to see us score a few goals today, um, and I think we looked like we were going to score more. Shame at the end, a slight offside with uh, Charlie Sheringham, otherwise uh, that would have been a 4-4. In fact, actually, 4-4 wouldn't have been a, a fair result. I think we actually bossed that game today. I think we should have should have got the win. So let's go and prove it was wrong on Tuesday night down at uh, at Bath. And, you know, let's get the win and, and progress in the trophy. And hopefully back here next uh, Saturday for um, against, what is it, Carl Scholten or Marie? Oh, Swind- yeah, oh, Super Marie. have a look. Isn't it Swindon Super Marie? It's Marine gone to penalties it? after a nil-nil draw, that game. So Has it? Yeah. It is Supermarine. Swindon Supermarine. Swindon Supermarine, there you go. Against Kosholton. I actually know the chairman of Swindon Supermarine. A friend of a friend. Okay. Um, Yeah, so we've got a couple of events coming up. We've got the ladies game tomorrow, Steve. Yeah, I'll be here tomorrow. So no chance of the technology working. Um, But uh, yeah, we're uh, going to be streaming tomorrow on a new system called Ticket Pass. Um, if I think we've got the the key out there for people. Um, You just log on. and that, then you'll get the free games. So it's going to b- introduce some new innovative uh, ways of watching the game. So you're actually going to have live rewind. So, you know, if you're not sure whether it was offside or not, you can go back up to 10 minutes and, and play it again. Yeah, like YouTube, you can you can yeah. have that today. So. Yeah, so it's fantastic. So I think that'll, that'll make it. So looking forward to that tomorrow. Uh, I think Em's going to be back in the commentary seat tomorrow, I think she's told me. Uh, still carrying that injury, so unfortunately she won't be playing. Uh, but you might have to listen to us too. Oh no, Ben's here tomorrow. Yeah, as well. yeah. Oh, you're okay, everybody. <laughs> Ben's going to be here as well. Of course. Commentate as well. That means I might just be on the on the on the tech. That's really worrying. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then we've got a charity match here in Sunday week. Yeah. So um, subject to uh, obviously not going into tier three this week. Um, we basically next uh, Sunday we have COVID. Uh, so this has been put together by my club, um, who people may have come across. Uh, I'm in biosciences, and uh, and I think it's going to be a really interesting thing. I mean, it's all in aid of Mascar Heroes, uh, which is a great charity being pulled together to uh, basically to provide PPE for nursing homes, hospitals, and and really schools people who need it. Uh, it's great charity. We got two teams. Um, got some interesting managers. Um, we got Harry Redknapp and Big Sam Allardyce. So, um, and you know, the current list of players it looks very exciting. Um, we got uh, people like Peter Crouch and uh, Jamie Redknapp, um, Danny Murphy, uh, Emil Heskey, um, but also some some non non primary footballers. So I'm I'm hearing these are so. I mean one of Tamar Hassan's playing. He's he's captain in one of the teams. Uh, I think we may have got Carl Froch. Um, I'm hearing Chris Hughes might be playing. Uh, there's all sorts of names out there. Anton Ferdinand. You know, let's let's. You know, I, it's always kind of hard with these things. You can never guarantee who who can actually make it on the day. And obviously, people in tier three, um, unfortunately, not. But so and you we, can buy tickets to come as well as uh, watch it online. You can buy tickets to come, and uh, I, I'm actually not sure where ticket sales have got to so far, but. Uh, I'm hopeful uh, that you can watch that or watch it online. And uh, it, again, it'll be, be streamed through on Ticket Pass. But if you want to go and have a look under, search under Mascar Heroes, or I think we've got it on our own website, um, we'll put it up there as if people want to come watch that game. I think it'll be a, be a fantastic, uh, fantastic spectacle here at, here at uh, the uh, EMG Inspire Stadium. So um, big thank you to uh, the guys at EMG Health and uh, Kids Inspire who have, who have taken on sponsorship of the stadium. Uh, really excited about that partnership that we've got we've got set up. So really excited. And I, th- I think actually, so I'll wrap it on a bit, but you know, one of the things you're going to see with, with Ticket Pass is that uh, half of what they do is half of their booking fee goes to charity. Um, so... Th- you know, we're giving half of that. That's good from our perspective. That's going off to Kids Inspire. So, do some great work around Chelmsford area. So, really good to support a local charity. And again, as I say, big thank you to EMG Health for the, for all the support they're giving as well. And one last duty, Mr. Chairman, you have got to pick the 
Well, half time draw would be the full time draw. Half time at full time. <laughs> okay, like okay. To pick a oh, ticket well, number. Okay. I'll go for this one. Oh, no, I've got two. Which one? Which one? Oh, I'll go this one. Oh, I've got two again. There you go. <laughs> Here we go. I have four. Right. So the winning number is 77. That person did not renew for this game. She's got to pick another one. That's, they've missed out. Have they? Yeah. Oh, oh shocking. Oh, same for that person. I don't know who folded these up. They're all stuck together. Okay, number 60. Les Wilshire. Les Wilshire. Oh, fantastic. Great news for Les. Um, so we'll, things will be wending its way to Les. Yeah, congratulations, Les. Um, are we going to have a look at a few uh, replays of a few goals in that game, uh, Chris? Just three, please, Chris. I don't want <laughs> to see the other four. Let's have a look what we've got coming up here. Still one penalty shootout, Swindon and Kosholton. Oxford did beat Dulwich 1-0. They held on to win that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Bath's first goal. Uh, well, let's see what happens happens here. hammered down with rain. The whole That's Bath's first or our first? This is Bath's first. In the wrong net. Yeah. With their uh, bit of a free kick. That did go a little bit wrong for Chelmsford's point of view here. I think the challenge here is I think Wargs calls for it, but unfortunately others get in the way. Oh. Well, Lance is on a postcard how that went in, but there we go. Chez Isaac credited with the own goal. I think it's come off the back of his leg as it come off a Luwo. Back onto Isaac. Yeah, a bit of oh mis miscommunication in the back line there. Let's have a look at Chelmsford's equaliser. Bath winning has uh, put Braintree back on the bottom of the in table. The penalty by the way. Here's the here's the equaliser. Uh, Isaac's cross, nice header by Sheringham. I really like the build up to that play. I don't know if we if it's possible Chris, whether Chris went further back, but I really like the way that you know Morgs drags the guy back. Nice, lovely back here. Look at the space. Fantastic, fantastic team goal. That really great. Love the celebration in the background there. One person's very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie Sharon has been a good acquisition so, so far. With uh, yeah. oh, this was Bass' second goal here. It sort of came off. Was very offside yeah. after a set piece, and it came edge of the box. Danny Imre just got turned, and a good finish by Wilson with his left foot. It was a good finish. Came from uh, Wolverhampton Wanderers. He's played for a few clubs. He, he was at Macclesfield last season before they went bust. So that's why he's come uh, okay. down to Bath. He's local to Bath, but obviously with. The amount of goals he's scoring, I thought he might get snapped up. Sixth of the season for him. Let's have a look at Bath's next goal. Uh, this is third goal. It's a good finish here by Conway through Lee Wargan a bit. Just got away from us, didn't he? Got us on the break. Lee looks suitably upset by that one. And, uh, yeah, Champs have dropped to 16th. Bath uh, have gone level on points last in 17th. Slough. Also below us on nine points as well. Billericay. Oh, uh, Morgan eight. in the area. This was our goal back. Oh. Charlie Sheringham. Adam Morgan with a nice uh, Lovely ball cross, in there. wasn't it? Oh, can't beat that. Fantastic. Second bite of the cherry after Clark desperately tried to keep it out. We haven't got a fast fourth goal. It was slightly from uh, straight from kickoff, so... Oh, was it? Oh, I missed that one. That was I was walking downstairs. I'd been upstairs. I was on my way down. I saw, oh, we're up. And then walked down and went, bloody Long stones. ball almost <laughs> straight from the kickoff. So and uh, this was the goal back that almost gave us so much hope. Cameron James he is really well. well here. Yeah, so get very, it, very well. Get it to the back post. Elliot Ward goes up for the Van Basten and a Luwo across. <laughs> gets it in. Hey, I was chatting to Glenn. He said he picked up Barry Cotter to uh, drive him here today and uh, said to Barry, who do you fancy score? He said, I fancy Addy knocking it in from two yards today. <laughs> so there we go. Yeah, Barry, good predictor of the, of the guy. I don't suppose, you, I don't suppose we've got um, Morgan's free kick, have we, that hit the post? I think so. Yeah? Is that the last one? Yeah, we Chris don't want to see any other one. But Chris can find it. A clip. Chris can oh, find we've got the last goal. We've got the offside disallowed one as well. The offside disallowed at the end. Yeah. Which we do think was offside, unfortunately. Yeah. Flag went up before Charlie here. touched it. So this was Morgan's free Morgan's kick. Morgan's free kick. Would have made it 3 2 here in the 33rd minute. 
Yeah, I think that would have put a diff slightly different complexion on it at the time. Oh, just didn't fall. I mean, that could so easily have fallen for uh, Charlie to knock that in, couldn't it? Look, he's there. He got to it. Oh, so close. Good. I wasn't watching it. Oh, wait. I'm glad Chris is like Chris is loving this shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic! And we're just the mo the heartbreaking moment at the end when everyone thought we'd scored in the ninety fifth minute with Charlie Sheridan's disallowed header. Even there. Uh, there we go. You just spot yeah. number. You can just see number nine. He's just off. He's up, just gets goes that second early, doesn't he? Yeah, I think he's just round the back of Jack Batten. There, yeah. flag went up before he'd even touched it. Yeah. I love the oh. fact it was Lee Wogan was first in the referee to complain because he was up there for the free kick. Who's this falling out? Look. Oh, right. Callum. So, Hatt, Callum. Callum. Oh. But that's, I, I, do you know what? It, it's stuff like that. You know, they're trying really hard. Everybody's up there. We're doing all we can. I, it, look, I have real confidence that as the season goes on, we'll play more and more together. We'll get a bit more settled. You can see the style of football is good to watch. You know, we're starting to create some chances now. Um, I'm pleased with the addition. You know, Charlie's obviously made a big difference coming in there at the front. And I just think, you know, I, I just got to be patient. Uh, I, we, we certainly didn't didn't deserve to lose today. Um, and let's go and prove that down there on uh, on Tuesday night. Yeah, my normal question at the end is, uh, what do you know about Bar What do you know about the next opposition? <laughs> so, oh, oh, oh I, I think yeah, let's like say no. There, yeah. <laughs> to be honest, I'm amazed by Bath's position this season. You look at them in the league. I mean, they they were they were you know pushing for promotion last year, generally being really strong, but this season they just don't seem to be uh, pulling it together. I know that they've just taken a couple of guys that that Robbie played with, um, who, who've gone down there, but. I think it's interesting. Uh, be interesting to see where they where they end up. I'm really shocked. They're a bit they're similar so to us. Quite a young yeah. team, lot yeah. of, a few lone players and a few experienced heads. So it's just, and and I think that's that's the right model for some people. I mean, so you see St Albans at the top as well. It's like wow. Uh, but yeah. Although I'm being told that they've uh, they've splashed the cash this year. So. They've gone top of the league, um, two points clear of Dartford, who uh, didn't play today. St Albans with a game in hand over them, Dorking. Four points behind St Albans in third. Hungerford won after three losses in a row today to go up to fourth, Eastbourne fifth, Hab Hampton sixth and Haven't um, are up to seventh and they've got four games in hand over some teams due to their FA Cup. Run. Yeah, I, th I think it's, you look at it now, I mean, we're only just over a quarter of the way through the season. As, you know, we're in December, normally we're like at, at least a third, getting, getting towards halfway through the season. But, you know, there's a very, very... Long way to go, and I think I think we've got plenty of time to for this team to continue to gel. Performances like that, where they really pull. I mean, uh, to be honest, what I was really pleased about, I think, you know, the uh, FA Youth Cup game against Ipswich, and uh, uh, one of the things that really stood out was, yeah, we lost, but God, those guys battled to the last minute, and I think that's what you saw today. You know, three one down, we kept battling. You know, three two, then they got the, but we did, the heads didn't go down. I think that's that's the positive thing. So. Let's hope we can turn it around on Tuesday night. It'd be nice to have a little FA Trophy run again this year, um, but you know, we, we we can only do we only do what we can do and and put the best performance in and and hopefully get get the decisions going our way. I don't I don't think the referee was our, on our side very much today. Okay, you'll be able to see your friend if we win on Tuesday because Swindon Supermarine won on penalties against. Oh, Scott fantastic! <laughs> I'll have a chat with Jimmy this afternoon. Say, yeah, anyhow. somebody will be there from them on Tuesday, maybe. If we, oh, well, that's true. Yeah, going down to Bath yeah. on Tuesday. We'll have a live radio commentary from Radio Claret. Says Bath had their radio commentary here today. So. Uh, so and, you, and what, are they streaming it on yes, uh, Tuesday night? They, they normally they've confirmed do, yeah. they stream. Well, they're behind closed doors still. They haven't got. Oh, the, of course, they're having a, a site visit on Tuesday, so they're, they're a bit uh, further okay. behind. Well, but I have to say we have had a site visit today uh, by the uh, by the local safety member of the safety advisory group. I think she was pretty pleased with with what she saw. And, um, I know all the all the fans that were here actually aren't watching on uh, on the on this stream, but you know the fans have really helped today. I think everybody was, you know, uh, stuck with the uh, stuck with the social distancing, the wearing of the masks. I'm really, really proud of what people did today. I think we've done a fantastic job of having people here. So fingers crossed, we can open up hospitality next uh, next time and get some more people in. So our next home game will be the twenty eighth of December against Concord. 
Wow. So next, uh, and, well, and hopefully the FA Trophy next Saturday. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm pleased we've we've managed to repair the dugout from the FA Youth Cup <laughs> game against Concord, where the, one of their players wasn't happy about being on for two minutes and came off and smashed his fist through the back through the top of it. Uh, that has now been repaired. Um, they will be receiving the bill. So uh, thanks very much, Steve. Next tomorrow we've got the ladies' game against Rayleigh at two o'clock. Uh, online free of charge and then our next game for the f- men's team is on Tuesday night when we away to Bath in the FA Trophy and uh, you can listen to that on Radio Clarets or uh, on Bath Stream we'll put the details on of that on social media and on the website preview as well so uh, it's been an absolutely thrilling game today 4-3 but unfortunately um, Chelsea come out the wrong side of a seven goal thriller and uh, onwards and upwards for Tuesday where we meet the same opponents in Bar City so thank you very much to Steve, Freddie for the, his uh, camera control and Chris directing today as well and Emma for commentary. And uh, we'll see you back here hopefully next Saturday for the FA Trophy. Goodbye. All right. Bye.